Lock it here for more live content. Free Talk Live is next on the Liberty Radio Network. You can help new minds find liberty. Chip in at lrn.fm. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for liberty news and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, September 19, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,219, silver opened at $18.36, and Bitcoin is trading around $393. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from the Michael Cargill for Austin City Council District 1 campaign. Vote Michael Cargill to get the cars moving. Learn more or sign up to volunteer at CargillForTexas.com. Political advertisement paid for by the Michael Cargill for Austin City Council District 1 campaign. In the news, the St. Louis Post-Dispatch is reporting that the Ferguson police officer behind the shooting death of 18-year-old Michael Brown testified in front of a grand jury on Wednesday. The Post-Dispatch stated that Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson spoke for four hours in front of the seven men and five women on the grand jury. Wilson was reportedly cooperative with St. Louis County and federal investigators. The grand jury has been expected to make a decision on whether or not to charge Wilson by mid-October. Earlier this week, CNN reported that St. Louis County Judge Carolyn Whittington had extended the grand jury's deadline until January 7th. It started with a wellness check. It ended with a four-hour standoff between police and a man who allegedly wanted to kill himself. Jose Silva posted live images of the SWAT team pointing guns at his car to the social media site Whisper. Silva recently broke up with his girlfriend. It was she who initially called law enforcement and indicated he may be armed and was making suicidal statements. Hours later, he was clock driving his car over 100 miles per hour, and the standoff began. After spraying chemicals into his car to induce nausea, the police arrested him and took him into custody, where he'll spend 72 hours for psychiatric evaluation. No weapons were found. The Fire Chief Garrison of Reno, Nevada, is warning residents to be very aware and very vigilant in response to a recent rise in fires caused by so-called smart meters. The new electric meters send energy use data electronically to electric companies, reducing the need for an in-person meter read. Of the nine fires in the area that appear to be linked to smart meters, one resulted in death. Nevada Electric reports over 70 consumed meters, meaning the cover is melted or breached and soot can be present. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Cabo Bob's, Southwestern-style burritos. Now with two locations in Austin, at 500 East Benway Boulevard and 2828 Rio Grande Boulevard, Find them online, CaboBobs.com. And support comes from Sovereign Living, a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com and watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show at SovereignLiving.tv. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, September 19th, 2014. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com and like us on Facebook at Facebook.com, The Liberty Beat. Activists with the Detroit Water Brigade are calling on Detroit citizens to join in the Occupy the Bankruptcy campaign to fight the controversial water shutoffs taking place in the city. The plan calls for a meeting Monday at 8.30 in the morning on the steps of a federal courthouse for a speak-out with families facing water shutoffs. The group is demanding that U.S. Judge Stephen Rhodes immediately stop the shutoff program and create an income-based water affordability plan. Former drone intelligence analyst Heather Linebaugh has begun speaking out in support of alternative treatment methods for post-traumatic stress disorder for veterans. I use yoga a lot. I practice transcendental meditation, and I was actually part of a case study that studying the effects of relaxation massage on people with PTSD and actually studied my sleep patterns when I was able to sleep longer after I got massaged and my mood patterns, like how my mood was while I was in the program getting massage regularly. I used medicinal marijuana for quite some time to sleep at night. Linebaugh served in the United States Air Force from 2009 until March of 2012 as an imagery analyst and geospatial analyst for the drone program during the occupations of Iraq and Afghanistan. A new study suggests that veterans dealing with PTSD may benefit from breathing-based meditation treatment. Researchers with the University of Wisconsin-Madison published the study in the Journal of Traumatic Stress. Chartered psychologist Dr. Kate Sparks with the British Psychological Society said the study showed how breathing is radically affected by how a person is feeling and that deeper, fuller breaths can help manage PTSD symptoms. Today's edition of the Liberty Beat brought to you by Brave New Books, your source for all things Bitcoin, now hosting a Bitcoin ATM. Located in Austin, Texas at 1904 Guadalupe Street or online, bravenewbookstore.com. 
LibertyBeat.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, September 19, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. The push to legalize marijuana is gaining momentum. These prescription doobies will do a whole lot more than just give patients a case of the munchies. Proponents are piping up to say that medical marijuana can help patients with some of the chronic illnesses that have been majorly killing their buzz. Unfortunately, 36 U.S. states are still not a kind bud of the legalization argument. But in states that do have the plan, the results have been, well, pretty far out, man. Patients nationwide are bluntly asking state legislatures to finally mellow out so that they and their doctors can work jointly to stop the suffering that's making a hash of their lives. So it's clearly an issue that means a lot to these patients. So states shouldn't toke their time with this policy. We'd be upset if patients had to wait a bong time. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You're listening to the live Sunday night edition. And although uh, our background music is a little bit uh, soft tonight, we can still hear it. So I think we're on the air. And we being Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. Welcome to Free Talk Live. It's a show where anyone can call in and take control of the airwaves. That means you can bring up anything that's on your mind. The number to call tonight is 855-450-3733. That's 855 855- 450-3733-855-450 free the word spells out the word free uh, you can also call us on skype at lrn.fm that's our skype name and bring up anything that's on your mind so i want to start off the show tonight by staging a little bit of an intervention with you mark i'm ready and an intervention <laughs> n- just know that i'm doing this because i care about you <laughs> Wait a minute. I'll take your word for it. (laughs) (laughs) I I have some stuff I want to talk to you about, honestly, as as a friend, because, uh, you know, we've worked together for many years. I've known you for a long time. You and I both actually moved to New Hampshire about eight years ago, around the same time. Almost the same time, yeah. Even though we didn't know each other personally then. I had been listening to Free Talk Live, so I kind of knew... Knew you, but not knew you personally. Right. So, I mean, you know, we've had a connection for a while, so I care about you, right? And I, I feel sad when I see uh, people I consider friends or care about doing stuff that might be frustrating or, or feel like a waste of time, you know, and uh, causing them headaches and stress. And if you're just listening tonight for the first time, you may not understand the background of this, so I'm going to, like, lay it out a little bit here. As I mentioned, Mark and I have both you know, separately move to New Hampshire as uh, because we're interested in the Free State Project. And what is the Free State Project? Well, it's a group of people who are interested in getting more freedom in their lives. And whatever that means to them, they're going to um, move to New Hampshire and get active for freedom in whatever way they kind of choose and think is best. So there's a lot of people who have moved to New Hampshire to get more freedom, some of them before the Free State Project ever even existed, just because New Hampshire has no sales tax, no income tax, is generally kind of considered a freer place to live, I think, than maybe some of the surrounding places like Massachusetts or something like that. I think it's undeniable that Mercatus Center has rated New Hampshire the freest state in the union three out of the five times they've rated them, five out of the five times they've been in the top five, and it, as I understand it, they're going to be number one on the next one, but we'll see. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of palpable, you know, especially if you've uh, lived Live in... Live free or die. Yeah. You come into uh, New Hampshire and, I mean, ironically, it's uh, emblazoned on the license plates, which you're forced to get if you want to drive a car. But nonetheless, it does say live free or die. So at least they're paying kind of lip service to freedom. <laughs> but yeah, it does sort of have more of a independent kind of... Um, responsibility for your own stuff and you know you live by your own merits type of feeling to it when you go into New Hampshire and uh, so we moved here because we're interested in freedom now when I first moved to New Hampshire I thought a good way to get freedom was perhaps to um, get involved in the political system and try to influence the state politics and a lot of people also had the same idea it's not they they kind of go out of their way in the wording of the agreement that you sign when you um, state your interest in the free state project, they kind of go out of their way to not exclude people who are 
not interested in politics. They they paint a big umbrella. They yep. make it a big tent. So the way it's worded, it's supposed to be welcoming to both people who want to work within the political system and people who want to work outside the political system to get more freedom for themselves and others in their lifetime. Right. The suggestion is is that um, even though I think the Free State Project was set up by somebody who wants to work within the system for people who wants to want to work within the system, the understanding is is that we may not know everything, and therefore you need to keep yourself open to people with other ideas. And obviously you can't keep them out, so you might as well let them in. And that's <laughs> the idea, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I think you're right. That's kind of what I was getting at, that the – it's it's worded to be welcoming to everyone, but there is sort of a subtext of, well, working within the political system is kind of the strategy that at least the person who founded the Free State Project or thought of the idea would prefer to choose. And uh, he now lives in New Hampshire. He's actually a professor at Dartmouth. Jason mm -hmm. Sorens was the person who came up with the idea for the Free State Project. Anyway, so we moved to New Hampshire. When I first came here in 2006, I thought, well... What could I get active on? Well, I, you know, I'll get in, into the political system, try to learn about New Hampshire politics. And at the time, I was in medical school, and I thought, well, medical marijuana, what a great issue to get involved with. Because, you know, we all know that there's, you know, it's a valuable medicine. For some people, it has therapeutic effects. For instance, cancer patients, you know, they can't keep food down. It has real anti-nausea effects, pain-relieving effects. And people should be able to put whatever they choose in into their body, you know, especially if they claim it benefits them in some way. Who is the state to put a sick person in jail because they want to ingest part of a plant? So I got in the political system and I started testifying at the state house and getting involved with these email campaigns, you know, writing to the legislators and stuff like that. And it was just a dismal failure um, at every point. Well, I, I mean, don't know if you failed. I mean, medical marijuana is now the law in New Hampshire. Is it? I mean, I, I'm so disconnected from it at this mm -hmm. point that I didn't even really... I wasn't even really aware of that. It's a pathetic medical marijuana law, yeah. but it is the law here. And it is the law in about half of the states in the union yeah. to some level or another. And uh, like, I think that that's one of the things I'd say about politics is, is it can be very demoralizing in the short term. You have to stick with things um, into the long term. Well, it sounds like it's still demoralizing in the long term because for those, for those people who wish that sick people would be able to, or healthy people <laughs> should be able to ingest a flower bud if they want to, <laughs> or if it makes them feel better, uh, and not risk being thrown in a cage, then yeah, it's still demoralizing because that is not uh, okay under the current political climate. Um, so what I what I experienced working in politics was just lots of compromise to the point of what you were initially uh, trying to get, you were not going to get. You're going to have to get maybe 10% of that, and maybe it would take years and years, and it would you'd spend a lot of money and a lot of time. I remember driving down to the uh, New Hampshire State House to testify on these important bills. I would get these email alerts and come testify this day. So I would, you know, take the day off from the work that I was doing and go drive down to the State House to testify. And the legislators wouldn't even show up because it was snowing or something like that. Right. When I, that happened to you once, right? It happened to me a couple times. Yeah. yeah. And um, and most of the legislative work in New Hampshire is done during the winter mm -hmm. because I think largely they want to keep just, people out. They want to keep people out of it. And a lot of people leave New Hampshire during the winter. Yeah. People that residents go down to Florida for three months out of the year or something like that. Yeah. So anyway, I had these frustrating experiences and eventually I just started to think about it and I was like, you know, do I even really agree with the system in the first place? No, I think, you know, you're playing a rigged game when you play politics, right? You're playing by someone else's rules. It's not possible to make meaningful change within the system or else they wouldn't let, you know, they wouldn't let that happen. It wouldn't be the case. Meaningful right? change isn't really what the government's set up for, right? Like it want, they want, right. if, the, if anything, they want slow plotting change. Yeah. They want the uh, status quo to continue to uh, reign because <laughs> they, they benefit from the status quo. And yeah, like Emma Goldman said, if voting changed anything, it would be illegal. And it's I, what one lady said. Yeah, who but had it's, a, it's no an apt quote. Luck doing anything other than writing some stuff, right? Like she. Wrote oh no, a book. she actually did a lot. She did you know that she distributed pamphlets about birth control, which was illegal at the time, and she got put oh, in jail saying, for that. And I, I'm not saying she didn't. Okay, uh, she achieved right. Like is she achieved putting pamphlets in people's hands. She achieved hands, but, a great deal. She put out um, thoughts that were revolutionary to many people 
And I think she did actually have a lasting change by impacting the hearts and minds of people. Go on with your explanation before we. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, just to just wait in here, just to get this all out, just to lay this out, Mark. You have been involved in politics. So I, I made the decision to move away from politics. I decided it wasn't worth the frustration, the hassle, and I don't believe in their system and I don't want to endorse it in any way by participating in it. And I'm, I believe I'm happier and better off for that. But I see you um, spending your time. You know, you recently went to the Republican state convention to try to change their platform. You were going to try to get gay marriage into the Republican platform. And you had your reasons for doing this, which you laid out. And I'm sure you'll talk about those. But what happened was about two thirds of these Republican uh, people voted to get voted to keep the platform the way it is without gay marriage included in it. And not only that, but the the choice was uh, between putting gay marriage in the platform and uh, voting that marriage is a fundamental institution of society, which either way, you're kind of compromising. So what I wanted to talk to you about was, you know, why you chose to do this, if you think it was worth it, and if you're going to continue to do it. So I hope we can talk about that. If you have thoughts about participating in the political system or not, you can call us at 855-450-3733. This is Free Talk Live. More coming up. Angioprim can unclog blocked arteries and improve blood flow in all parts of your body. Angioprim is oral chelation. Easy, simple, liquid oral chelation. You take it with juice before breakfast and forget about it. Angioprim works fast, unlike old-fashioned chelation that takes hours. Just log on to angioprim.com. That's angioprim, A-N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M, angioprim.com. Angioprim users say they have more energy, more strength, more endurance. Increased circulation and blood flow will make all your body parts work better. Log on to angioprim.com. Angioprim.com to get more information on how you can get started and start feeling better, having fun, and doing more again. Lots more. Talk to a trained Angioprim consultant. Call Angioprim toll free at 877-882-7221. That's 877-882-7221. Or log on for complete information. Angioprim.com. That's Angioprim.com. Find out how Angioprim can work for you. Get the facts about Angioprim at Angioprim.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Keenvention is coming up October 31st through November 2nd. Get your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, attend social events like the costume party. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, James Robin Hood Cleveland, Rich Paul, and Free State Project President Carla Garrick will be keynoting. And we'll have all kinds of panels, including the new Cop Block panel and the new Movers panel hosted by the outlaw Josie Wales. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? 
Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, the live Sunday night show. With me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. You can listen to Free Talk Live seven nights a week, 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Get the archives of our show right on our website, which is freetalklive.com. There you can subscribe to our podcast feed, get our catch our SoundCloud page, or just download the last seven nights of archives right up at the top of the website there at freetalklive.com. And of course, Free Talk Live is a show where you can call about anything at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Yeah, and if you're looking to perhaps get that extra edge, get a little bit of energy, uh, get some focus, I want you to look into Modafinil from ModUp.net. They offer really uh, affordable Modafinil, and it is a generic, but it's, I mean, (laughs) trust me, the quality's there. And to prove it, they have been the number one sponsor for Reddit's third-party nootropic testing project. Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, I think we've been pronouncing it wrong all along. <laughs> yeah, no, but I hit it there. And Nootropic. Absolutely. That's and the so, problem when you make up a new word. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, but they are really the, on the bleeding edge of this, of, of nootropics, uh, and that's, you know, and they're, they're proving it. I mean, when you're involved with Reddit, that's as serious as it gets. That's where the internet goes to get a lot of their, you know, where the internet goes to get its information. I mean, when you're going to the information source to get information, that's really something. So, and of course, there's been plenty of studies, uh, some showing one in five students, uh, you know, get a, an advantage from the cognitive enhancer that modafinil is. So you can check out modup.net, look into, now this is, again, this is a worldwide company, okay, and Free Talk Live is a worldwide show. So look into your local, air, you know, your local laws and, and regulations and, and whichever, but believe me, modup wants to serve you. So go to modup.net if you're looking for modafinil. Use Bitcoin, you'll get a 33% discount. And no matter what you use, if you get if you use the code FTL, you'll get 10 free tablets of modafinil. Uh, this is really high quality stuff, and they do a world class service. But modup.net. All right, we are staging an intervention, or I'm at least attempting to stage an intervention with Mark about his uh, participation in politics and does this actually make you happy? You know, and we're going to talk about that more. But first, let's go to the phones. This is a show where you can call and take control of the airwaves. First, we're, we're going to talk to Rusty listening in Houston, Texas. Hi, Rusty. You're on Free Talk Live. Uh, howdy, y'all. I, I just wanted to tell Mark, uh, thank you for being involved in politics because it's essential. You know, you can win the hearts and minds of people or you can out organize them. What you're doing, being involved in politics. Hopefully, is organizing other like-minded people. So when that candidate comes along, they see yes, there's a pool to draw from, either for financial resources or for volunteer resources. And you're going to have to you're you're learning the game, you're learning the ins and outs of it. And fellow Republican to another, I've been to state convention. You know, sometimes you go and you're the only one there is representing liberty or has these ideas, but. You being there has a huge impact. You expose other people to it who are involved. You may convert some over to your side on issues. I, I now, this is, a, Rusty, I just want to let you know, this is the multiple. How many years have you been doing this, Mark? You've you've done this before. You've tried to change my, the Republican platform before. Yeah, this is my second uh, go around at the uh, as a delegate to the state convention. Um, what they do, just to be clear, the delegates here vote on the platform for the Republican Party. There's no lawmaking that goes on. This is simply the, like a, a mission statement for the Republican Party. And what I've tried to do, you know, what what um, I was one of my goals was to remove uh, marriages between one man and one woman from the state uh, uh, party platform and replace it with something that was somewhat innocuous. Um, but, you know, all uh, nonetheless, that was what my hope was. So but there could still be right Republicans who d- didn't agree with that. Right. And who could like even if the platform got changed, 
and it now says it now does not say marriage is between one man and one it's woman. It's completely non-binding, right? Like anybody, any Republican. So you tried to pass a non-binding thing, didn't even get that to happen. You spent a day of your life, a weekend of your life? I wouldn't call it a weekend, no. We, we arrived, uh, it started at 9, I probably rolled in at about 9.30. Mm -hmm. I had a breakfast sandwich and some coffee while I chatted with some people out in the hallway. I really didn't do much of anything while the politicians uh, bloviated on stage about how important it was for us to uh, vote uh, for the most milk toast Republicans that they could uh, trot in front of us, including Scott Brown. And, um, oh boy. you know, uh, who was the worst voting Republican in the, uh, the Washington in D.C. So, I mean, you know, I, there was a lot of that going on, but I was chit-chatting with free staters and people I knew out in the hallway. And then when it was time to vote, I went in and I heard people who, full of uh, what appeared to be bile and hate um, yammering on about uh, Sharia law and, um, you know, uh, wow, you know, Jesus and, and all these is things. There, is Sharia law out? a threat to New Hampshire? Well, I'll tell you what, it's in the Republican Party platform. Wow. Rusty, Standing any final it. thoughts? <laughs> Yeah, that's the same process down here in, in Texas where you submit platform amendments and stuff like that. Uh, we had a retro pair, or a gay mayor, gay individual retroactive therapy plank put into our platform by the religious right. And, you know, us being there, we put pressure on our state chair, and eventually he came out against it. Uh, but we had to have those people there to just keep hounding him on it. Be like, this is a horrible, it's going to kill us. Uh, when because what happens is when you try to go talk to somebody, a constituent or a voter, are undecided, so usually um, you can cite the platform and be like, well, this is what we stand for. That's kind of how it's pitched. This is what we believe in. Um, yeah, I got you, Rusty. Thanks for the call tonight and sharing your experience. Let's talk to Pizza Guy in Fargo, North Dakota. Hey, Pizza Guy, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how's it going? Going well, Hello? Pizza Guy. What's on your mind tonight? Hey, sorry about that. I uh, just got back in from my delivery. So, yeah, I... Um, Thank you for your service. Is, yeah, you're very welcome. I'm, I'm very well paid for it. Um, I know this isn't a tech show, but you do have uh, the Golden Stallion on, I assume, today. <laughs> and uh, I was very intrigued because, yeah, Facebook did push that messenger onto me, and I hate it because it's on top of my droid. And I was just wondering what I go to the Google Play Store to find to replace that so that I can still use. Sure. Uh, there's actually a great replacement for it. Now, to give a little uh, a little backlog yeah, here. Yeah, let's reset. Yeah, what's, Facebook what's Messenger about? recently. Recently, you have the Facebook app and then you have Facebook Messenger. All of these big companies are going into the multi-app platform where they want a bunch of apps. And it seems like that's what people want. Like Facebook owns Instagram uh, and they have another one coming out soon called Moments that is supposed to relocalize social networking, which oh, I predicted yeah. would happen. Uh, but that's another story. And But Facebook Messenger is this privacy nightmare okay because they removed messenger from you you can't use it in the facebook app anymore you have to have facebook messenger yeah so basically if you want to use facebook and use the message functionality the private message functionality right. within facebook you have to have a separate app now for yeah and messenger app. has all of these you know permissions one of them being uh like that it can actually call it can make a phone call from your own from your phone Okay. Oh, I don't see why that bothers anybody. Yeah, no, I mean, that's not what, who cares, you know? It's, we're we're going to call 911 for your safety. Wow. I mean, you know. well, actually, a lot of apps have those scary permissions. Absolutely. You know, most of them and, have to want to access your camera and your speaker and microphone. Right, right absolutely. And admittedly, Google does a, does a piss poor job of describing what all those actually mean because mm -hmm. they may not be as scary as they sound admittedly but all the same i think facebook is is a uh, just an they atrocious certainly company aren't, uh, concerned yeah. about your privacy and so what you want to get you want to get it's called chat secure okay secure. chat secure is the name of it. it's by the guardian project and that will allow you to use facebook messenger without using messenger thanks for the call pizza guy this is free talk live 855-450-3733 from politics to uh Online privacy. Bring up anything that's on your mind. 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. 
Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. Next to water and food, you need a safe, storable fuel supply for your preparedness needs. Spare fuel is the answer. Spare fuel can be used in any gas-powered vehicle or generator. Spare fuel is perfect for any unforeseen out-of-gas emergencies. Unlike gasoline, spare fuel is safe to store with your other supplies, and it can be stored for many years. Go to GetSpareFuel.com for special pricing. That's GetSpareFuel.com. You can't win if you don't enter, and you actually can improve your chances of winning a prize drawing if you wrinkle up your entry blank. I'm Holland Cook from survivalspeech.com, and I speak from experience. Why this works? If they'll be spinning the drum before drawing, your entry blank will move around more than, and not adhere to, other perfectly flat entry blanks. And if they don't spin the drum and merely reach into a box full of other perfectly flat entry blanks, many of which are sticking together, yours will feel different to the person reaching in. When you win, act surprised. And if you're looking for work, this is a metaphor. For more tips on sticking out in a world where just too much blends into the blah, 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 hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live. The result from the drug use, you cannot compare to caffeine or cigarettes. That's an immature... Right, it's... Uh, no, the result of the war on drugs, I can't com- and compare. Known the illegal use of drugs. Why don't we execute sellers? <laughs> Why don't we execute cigarette we smokers? If then, we will no longer have to worry about... People using drugs. Well, all right. There's more than 100,000 people convicted of drugs every year. Do you want to execute all them, too? Wow. Look how much money. We'd save 30,000 a year times 100,000. Okay? You know, if we took the Singapore or the the, uh, Middle East um, model. Then we'd have a a state like Singapore or the Middle East. President, maybe he can do that. Because Singapore and the Middle East have no drugs whatsoever in their countries, right? We talk live seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at Facebook.LRN.FM. That's Facebook.LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live, live Sunday night show. Tonight it's me here, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. Call us at 855-450-3733. Bring up anything that's on your mind. Still want to talk more about Mark's uh, political intervention that we're uh, staging here. I want to have a conversation about, you know, what's motivating you to continue playing politics. Um, But we do have some phone calls to get to also, as well as uh, this message. Yeah, from My Magic Mud. Now, My Magic Mud is a... The greatest stuff on earth. (laughs) It's really great stuff. (laughs) I cannot say... 
I would not say that's unfair to call it the greatest stuff on earth. <laughs> yep. Um, I actually went to Las Vegas, as you know, for a few days. I didn't bring my magic mud with me. I just, you know, threw some toiletries in the bag. And I can tell the condition of my teeth is different after the trip than it was before. Like, I didn't use it for four days or something like that, five days maybe. And I can sort of feel the tartar showing up on the, the sort of the ridges of my teeth and that kind of thing. I, I can I just feel, they feel different. They don't feel as clean as they normally do. And it's because of my magic mud. Now, I don't use it daily. You're not, you don't need to. You use it uh, daily for the first seven days or ten, seven to ten days. And then after that, you switch off to every other day or every third day. And it's fine, but it's a tooth polisher. It goes in. It really gets the bacteria out of your your, your mouth in a way. Your mouth is going to feel cleaner than it um, than it ever has before. It It's good for people who have sensitive teeth because it helps with that. Also, it doesn't have a taste. Go, and, and don't take my word for it, go and check out uh, the interview with biological dentist Dr. Griffin Cole at MyMagicMud.com because he has a lot of interesting things to say about and explains a lot of the benefits of My Magic Mud. It's MyMagicMud.com. It was created by Jessica Armand, and she's a liberty-loving homeschool mother of three. And it is an incredible product. I cannot recommend it highly enough. MyMagicMud.com. All right, let's go right to the phones at 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE here on Free Talk Live, the Sunday show. Talk to Billy in North Carolina. Oops. Hey, Billy, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind tonight? I just want to talk about politics super quick. Um, I'm 14 years old, and um, I have recently wrote a letter to the Air Mission Agency in the state that I live in, North Carolina, and also to the White House. You wrote a letter to which agency? Yes, um, uh, the Air Emission Agency. Air Emission Agency. All right. Okay. What did it say? So, um, I came up last year. I was in uh, eighth grade, and I came up with an idea that if biomass is trash that's converted into energy, then if we take landfills, every landfill in America, or almost all of them, we make somewhat of the landfill land into biomass plants where the trash can be made into energy, will reduce pollution from energy plants. We'll still have energy plants in run running, but there will be less pollution going to our ozone layer. And then now, that's an interesting be- idea, Billy, but, I mean, could, couldn't you do that privately, like maybe start a company that converted biomass into energy instead of doing it through the political system? What do you think about that well, idea? Actually, you know what, Billy? I, I think your passion is positively admirable. Uh, I, I think it's phenomenal, and I think this is a serious issue that needs some solving. And But like Stephanie said, I'd recommend writing to Elon Musk. And I mean that seriously. I think he would love to hear from a 14-year-old that has this kind of idea and this much passion about the planet. Uh, because believe me, the, the, whatever yeah. government agency you, you want to write to isn't going isn't gonna to do anything You're for you. You're probably talking over the politicians' heads, frankly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, Did they write yeah, back they to They are you, not Billy? as smart as you, Billy. Did you receive they're a probably, response? They're probably getting the letter and they're probably like, duh. <laughs> well, you they might it. throw it right in the trash. And uh, <laughs> did, you get, did you ever receive any kind of response? Um, I just recently sent it out, but you said Elon, Eli Musk? Elon. It's E-L-O-N Musk. And Elon Musk okay. is uh, from Tesla Motors. Yeah, he's an entrepreneur, a venture capitalist. Uh, he runs Tesla. This is a guy that is genuinely working to try and build the future, and I think he would love ideas like this. And I told, cool. I, I am really, Billy, that is awesome to hear someone calling in about that. Yeah, thanks so much for the call, thanks Billy. So Appreciate it. thank you for your sacrifice with politics, Mark. <laughs> thank you, Billy. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Now, I mean, I don't get it. Mark, you've had two callers now. Thank you for your service or your sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Why? What did you actually accomplish besides wasting your time? And I mean that They're seriously. Thanking me for wasting my time. I, I'm saying that because I care about you and I don't want to see you waste your time. Just like I don't want to waste my own time. What did you actually accomplish by going to this Republican delegation? Well, let's um, let's talk about it first. So, okay. Well, we do have another call. Okay, on the then line. go ahead. Sorry. Let's go. Let's go first to Benjamin, listening on Skype or calling on Skype. Hi, Benjamin. You're on Free Talk Live. Good evening. Hey. <laughs> okay. So it's interesting you're having this discussion because I kind of want to bring up something tangentially related that you guys were talking about last week when you had a caller call up and. Uh, want to tell you how to get re- or tell people how to get removed from the voter rolls and yeah. uh right huh right oh yeah just yeah. agreeing last <laughs> last week we did have somebody call in i think it was what it was it sleepy salsa yeah something like that who, who talked about how he unregistered to vote 
And you can hear so, the archive of that at archives.freetalklive.com. Let's go ahead, Benjamin. Yeah. So I wanted to agree that uh, if you are despise politics, your vote is meaningless. So don't do it. In fact, it is irrational to invest time and energy into something to which you will essentially have no effect over. That's, so, that's I agree with you I, I completely, like to, okay, Benjamin. <laughs> so you, you used absolute terms like no effect and um, you know things like that. And I like to use terms like unlikely and sure. um, statistically insignificant. So, for instance, the things I like to say to people is Isn't look, that functionally no effect? Functionally, yes. But the fact is, is your vote can make a difference, especially when you're in a room with 413 people voting on something, that, you know, the vote could be separated by one person. Now, um, the, the, the point I like to make to people is, look, Barack Obama won New Hampshire by 60,000 votes. If I voted, you know, regardless of who I voted for in the presidential election in 2012, it, that doesn't, that fact doesn't change. Now, if I was given a gift from God to go back and change my what was that noise? Are you okay, Benjamin? That was that was my chair. It sounds like a skill saw ripped right through you. <laughs> um, the yeah, that if I got to go back, God gave me the ability to change my vote right now to be able to change the the election. Nothing would change. He won by fifty nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine or sixty thousand and one or whatever it was. Nothing changes because my vote doesn't matter. Does it count? Yes, it counts, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't change anything. Go ahead. No, no so I agree with that. In fact. I'm, I understand people who uh, just don't want to be involved in electoral politics. I go and I vote, but I invest no time in voting except for going, going to the place, and it's right next door, so it, it doesn't make much of a difference. But I don't invest time in looking into the issues more so than what I've been interested in. I don't dive deeper into it. But, but oh, hold on a second, Benjamin. I mean, I, I actually used to take that tack, but then I just stopped doing that entirely because I believe that freedom is not on the ballot. And so anytime you go into those polling places, get the form and uh, check that box, you're actually putting a little bit of your moral support into the system. And that's why I stopped participating because I just didn't want to have any part of it. I get that. But for like, you say it's never on the ballot, but... You can walk in, at least where I live, and sometimes something like a bill to raise property taxes or sales taxes will be on the ballot. And so I just open it up. I go, well, that's stupid. And I vote no. Yeah. Uh, so I invest almost no time and I at least do that. And by the way, if I, I get the moral support or whatever of the, of the system, but if Massa says, hey, would you like... 10 whips or 12, go ahead and say 10 and then spend your time saying, but I'd rather not get whipped at all. And in the meantime, 10's fine. Yeah, I you know I don't push so hard against like the idea of not voting as as personally worthless. I feel that it is, uh, you know, going to vote. But I don't push so much against people voting. I'm more concerned about people becoming politicians um, because this really doesn't get done without taking some kind of money. And even the people. That say, I'm running on an education platform, meaning that, look, I know I'm not going to win, but I'm just going to get the word out. Are you talking about Ian? <laughs> well, whoever, Ron Paul. I mean, that's what sure. everybody says Ron Paul did. It's like, okay. well, he knew he wasn't going to win. He was just running on an education platform. How much money did Ron Paul have? Did he, did he earn did oh, his packs tons. to do all that? Millions, Millions of, dollars. of dollars. Look, I've got. And then there were allegations of mismanagement. Sweat, sweat, mm -hmm. South Dakota, $500,000. You could buy a city. And build yourself a little paradise, okay, with it's, the money that it costs to become a politician. We true. could be buying what, out the what country. What has the greatest impact? Benjamin, thank you for calling yeah. tonight. This is Free Talk Live, the Sunday edition, 855-450 free. A world without breast cancer is a world with more birthdays. And by signing up for the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk, you will help us get there faster. Because you're helping the American Cancer Society make the greatest impact and save more lives in more communities through groundbreaking research and access to screenings for women who need them. Walk in making strides against breast cancer because you can help us finish the fight. Sign up today at makingstrideswalk.org. 
Bella Wood Flooring has changed its finishing process. So for the first time ever, Lumber Liquidators is clearing out their current stock of Bella Wood at unbelievable prices. Get Bella Wood Red Oak Solid pre-finished hardwood for an incredible $2.99 per square foot. That's over 30% off already low prices. Even stunning, solid Bella Wood Bolivian Rosewood for an amazing 51% off. These are not seconds. This is first quality with a transferable 100-year warranty. So go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. Special 18-month financing is available. But hurry, these clearance deals end Tuesday. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just $19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV Do you need access to money? Do you need cash today? If you are receiving a structured settlement due to a lawsuit or you are receiving pension payments over a long period of time, the Money Settlement Hotline can get you instant funding now. With your cash today, you can pay off credit card debt, pay medical bills, fund your education, or improve your home. You don't need to wait. It's true. If you're receiving a structured settlement or pension payment spread out over time and you want a lump sum amount immediately, then you need to call now. They will turn your long-term structured settlement or pension payments into a lump sum larger cash payout, so you'll get all of your money instantly. If you have a structured settlement or pension and you want cash today, call the Money Settlement Hotline right now. 888-785-0616. 888-785-0616. That's 888-785-0616. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. The live Sunday night show. It's me, Stephanie, here. And Brian. And Mark. And we do the show seven nights a week. Well, somebody does the show seven nights a week here at Free Talk Live. Usually it's Mark and Ian hosting the show. Our website, freetalklive.com, where you can find uh, archives of our past shows and connect with us on social media. It's, what is it, news.freetalklive.com? P- pretty much puts you in touch with everything. Yeah. Okay, you get our Facebook, Twitter, and all our social media and yep. our email updates list. So. The updates is, is really kind of cool if you want to be in the know on the news for Free Talk Live. Indeed, news.freetalklive.com. Now, we are talking about politics and uh, the big decision of what, how much energy and time you want to invest in participating in the system, if any. We'll get right back to that, but your calls also are welcome here on Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE, the number to call if you want to talk to us tonight, 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three, and that is, of course, the Pro XPN toll-free call-in lines. 
The drug war is something that the government has really profited from. Uh, they've got p- tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of uh, little legionnaires that go out and prosecute their drug war in whatever oh, fashion. Yeah. They, they take things from people. Um, they harm people's lives. You really got to ask yourself, what's worse, the marijuana or the sentence that you get for the possession of it? The Silk Road is and was an online drug marketplace that made the world of uh, you know the, the the world of procuring drugs safer because because it's driven into the black market you have the most unsavory of people who are dealing in these things. But Silk Road eliminated that. It put in a system where people could uh, you know give ratings to drug dealers. When was the last time you heard of a better business bureau for drug dealers? <laughs> and um, actually there were studies done on it that said it reduced violence in the drug trade because right. of course it's better to get a package in the mail that contains whatever drug you're ordering than have to go to sure, some back there alley somewhere. More, yeah, or there wasn't any more turf wars, you know, between uh, mm-hmm. various drug groups. A guy named uh, Andrew Jones um, was either involved or not involved. We haven't uh, seen the results of the court case. Alleg- Allegedly. Allegedly involved. And if he was involved, frankly, he's a hero for saving people's lives. And if he wasn't, he's innocent. And either way, with a prosecution in this area, the government manages to forward the ball one step further in the war on drugs because now they can say, oh, yeah, you can't uh, you, you can't uh, help people um, in this arena because, you know, the way they procured this stuff, illegal, all kinds of reasons why uh, the government's case is weak oh, and shouldn't be, uh, they, they shouldn't win. Not only that, it just has broad implications for freedom in general. Uh, so the government's constantly fighting with itself about whether Bitcoins are money or whether they are property. Uh, for tax purposes, yeah, the IRS true. says that they're property. Um, the money, the what is it? The um, FinCEN says it's money, and you can be convicted of money laundering or whatever. But this case could actually define uh, property as such that anyone who's trading in property, gold or furniture or bitcoins or whatever, could be uh, charged with money laundering, which wasn't previously the case. And that's one of the reasons why you should go to Drewsdefense.org and help him with his defense because it's helping you in the process. Uh, you never know when. The you know the war on drugs has harmed everybody, and that's why I'm behind DrewsDefense.org. Very good. Let's go to the phones, to the fun, and talk to Uncle Fudd listening in Kentucky. Hey, Uncle Fudd, you're on Free Talk Live. How are you? How are you? You know, I'd call in a while back. I don't know if you were there, but I think maybe these young men were that that uh, that I was talking to, and and one of them try to engage me in debate. Unfortunately, it was after they had disconnected from me, so it's hard to reply when you uh, <laughs> when you want to criticize something I said or critique it. That uh, It's hard to up. know who anyway. it was, but perhaps it was oh, Ian. Okay, he's usually it. in the first chair uh, six nights a week. Yeah, he's, he's not, not here not tonight. There tonight but anyway, yeah, that's good. It, that's, that's irrelevant. The, the point I was really calling about was about uh, the incredible cosmological changes that the earth is going through right now cosmological okay okay tell us more about those uh, planetary uh solar system wide changes yep like to hear more about that what do you mean um well it's uh it's manifested on this planet a lot of times as earthquakes uh, volcanoes um strange upwellings and uh uh, falling away of land, uh, and in the uh, in the solar system, there's a lot of debris that we see coming down as fireballs. I don't know if you've uh, experienced any of these uh, massive fireballs. I uh, do you mean meteors? Myself, no, no, they're a little different. They're not meteors. Uh, I've uh, uh, I've been a sky watcher all my life. You see, uh, being on the mountaintop, I get a good view without a lot of light. So, but uh, coming back out of central Tennessee into central Kentucky. One night we saw twin fireballs come down about two seconds apart, about, uh, you know, in an arc, Uh less than probably two degrees apart on the same trajectory. They're slow, they're massive. But anyway, that's just one thing. Let's not get hung up on one little detail of fireballs. You can look it up. So, I mean, there's tons of people that see them. Okay. Yeah, and for, at least at least this year, there's been over 300 reports of fire of just fireballs, and they are different from meteors. Okay. And so, they what about the meteors. earthquakes? Is this is there an unusual amount of um, tectonic activity too? Yeah, and the volcanoes. The volcanoes are are in the in the uh, hundreds now, acting up 
what they call dormant volcanoes are acting up. But this is a cyclic thing. See, that's the thing that is hidden from us is the fact that these cycles of change happen time and again. So what, and, is, uh, what is the cause of the cycle? There, there are a lot of causes because, you know, it's like uh, everything as above as below, everything is connected. So you have, you have local causes, you have global causes, and you have uh, cosmic causes. And they all seem to coordinate in massive cycles because this debris, all this. Um, well, what, what would be the cosmic all, causes of these of these changes? It is a uh, uh, cycles of um, of um, interaction between Earth and 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 other massive uh, objects other than our sun. It's a change in our sun. It's the interaction of our solar system with massive bodies. For instance, Venus came uh, came into our uh, solar system rather of late, and when it went through, it scalped the northern hemisphere of Mars and planted itself in orbit. And uh, but, but Venus and Mars are separated by a large gap of space. How did they come well, that well, close? Well, they are now, but I'm telling you that at one time it's what you might call a comet that went by and because of the electrical differential. It's a, a lot about electrical differential, and that's how you're going to okay, get Okay, so, so this sounds a lot like Emanuel Vilikovsky's work. Um, from, it has a lot to do with that. Yeah, yeah from I the 70s. What is Emanuel? Hold on, let's, let's, let's okay, reset, Brian. Emanuel what is Vilikovsky that? is an author. He's a scientist a, from the 70s, uh, and well, he the, pretty much... Hold, hold on a minute, Uncle Fed. We want to talk to Brian yeah, about what this is. Yeah, and he theorized that various uh, celestial bodies, you know, that being planet or what would end up being planetoids, had come through and pretty much pay, played a game of galactic billiards inside of our solar system. Uh, and actually, he even attributes this to the moment in the Bible where the sun stands still for a day. Uh, I mean, it explains away a lot of historical context, which I'm sure Uncle Fudd is probably uh, referencing. But so I guess my question that I'm wondering, let's say this whole galactic game of billiards happened and it causes all these changes. Who is trying to hide this from us and why? Well, because it's a, it's a, it's a power. For one thing, you can tell, uh, you know, some of the things they want just from uh, their public declarations continually. I have heard so many so many but who's they who's they, they who's to. they well for instance henry kissinger saying that he wants to get rid of uh uh third uh, uh third world populations africa he we need the resources so we have to depopulate it. okay so you have a new world order now why why are they hiding these facts i thought it's power son it's power can you imagine if you know and no one else does Take the Georgia Guidestones. If you want to kill 90%, 95% of the population, then uh, there it is. If they're unprepared. All right, quick, quick, Uncle Fudd, closed, what do we do we to prepare for it? Go. What do what we do, 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 do to prepare for it? What do you do about it? I didn't hear you. That's okay, you we have one minute left. Tell me what I do. Well, you have to uh, you have to raise your own energy. You have to be ready to go to the next level, to the next platform. This What's the next level? Come. It's never a dead end. It's never a dead end. I talked to you about this before, about medicine, about energy, about raising your energy, about raising your vibration. Your electric field, your electronic field, your, the field of your body can be increased, and you and you can do that, and it can withstand anything. Radiation, so you're saying we need to illness. ascend? No, I'm saying you need to energize your body. Thanks Talk for the call, Uncle Fudd. Fudd. That's about all we have time for right now. Let's talk to Matthew in Florida. Hey, Matthew, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hi, I just wanted to talk about the uh, comments that your vote really doesn't matter. And I'm kind of here to dispute that because the vote does matter. And um, All right, yeah, votes. I'd like to talk about the evidence for that. If you would, hold the line, please, Matthew. And uh, we'll talk about does your vote actually matter? You can call us if you have thoughts on the subject or anything else that's on your mind at 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE here on Free Talk Live. Hour number two of the show's coming up. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. 
Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Kane in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Sunday, September 21st, 2014. Silver is trading at $17.85 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,216 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $400. Antiwar.com reports the two candidates in Afghanistan's presidential runoff have finally reached a settlement, proving widespread corruption and ballot rigging isn't an obstacle to claiming a successful election was held. Under the deal, Ashraf Ghani will be named president and Abdullah Abdullah will be given the position of chief executive, a new position which was created specifically so neither candidate lost. Both positions are designed to be roughly equivalent in power, but it isn't clear how the split will ultimately be. How the results will be released is unclear as well, as Abdullah, believed to be trailing in the vote audit, had made a key demand of the power sharing that the election commission either release results without actual vote numbers or, by contrast, release phony numbers that made the race look closer than it actually was. The Abdullah camp had released considerable evidence of ballot stuffing being done by the commission itself on behalf of the Ghani campaign, and the two sides could not agree on how the audit would be carried out, meaning the vote was months ago and the results are still unclear. Ghani has agreed to a power-sharing framework in the past, but had also ruled out actually complying with those deals, saying that once the audit confirms his victory, he's free to do as he pleases. How that was resolved, as with other terms of the agreement, were not made public. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. The Associated Press reports the Secret Service has stepped up security outside the White House after a man with a knife who jumped the fence made it into the presidential residence before being apprehended. President Obama insisted he still has confidence in the beleaguered agency's ability to protect him and his family. Secret Service Director Julia Pearson ordered enhanced officer patrols and surveillance along the north fence of the compound just after the incident on Friday evening, which triggered a rare evacuation of the White House 
House, as well as renewed scrutiny of the Secret Service. The agency said Pearson had also ordered a comprehensive review of what happened. President Obama and his daughters had just left the White House by helicopter on Friday evening when the Secret Service says 42-year-old Omar Gonzalez scaled the fence, darted across the lawn, and threw the unlocked North Portico doors before officers finally tackled him. According to the criminal complaint, when Gonzalez was apprehended, he told Secret Service agents he was concerned that the atmosphere was collapsing and needed to contact the president so he could get the word out to the people. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. Reuters reports former British Prime Minister Gordon Brown urged leaders to keep their promises to grant further powers to Scotland after it voted to remain in the United Kingdom. The three biggest parties had promised to rapidly expand Scotland's autonomy in a last-minute push to shore up support for the Union just days before Thursday's referendum, which came down to 55-44 to 44 against independence. But within hours of the results, Britain's Prime Minister David Cameron had reshuffled the cards by by promising not only to fulfill the pledge to Scotland, but also to make it part of an overhaul of the balance of power across the rest of the United Kingdom within the same time frame of a few months. He vowed to produce a balanced settlement fair to the people of Scotland, and importantly to everyone in England, Wales, and Northern Ireland as well. An announcement quickly shattered the pre-referendum consensus among London's main parties. Labour opposition leaders said plans for constitutional change on that scale needed to be put to members of the public through a convention after the next parliamentary election, which Cameron's conservatives said amounted to kicking the issue into the long grass. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. A Rasmussen poll reveals that nearly all American voters share a deep fear of botching another election, with most voters admitting that selecting candidates for public office is something they're historically just not particularly good at. I really hope I don't completely f*** things up as usual, but you never know, things do happen. According to the poll, three quarters of voters said election day panic would cause them to base their vote entirely on hearsay, while 93% acknowledged that they only recognized names of local candidates from signs along state highways. In Cedar Rapids, Iowa, stunned friends and acquaintances expressed shock and disbelief when a body found in the woods turned out not to be Justin. Local residents found the naked corpse draped over a tree stump Saturday, and as news spread, many found themselves struggling to comprehend how it wasn't Justin lying dead in the forest. I heard the news, and I still can't come around to it. I just can't imagine that it's not Justin there lying dead in the woods. Are they absolutely sure it's not him? Friends and family are still urging authorities to double check the body, or at the very least, bring in Justin as a suspect. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. This is the live Sunday night show, and we're kicking off hour two of tonight's program with me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. You can call us Free Talk Live, of course, a show where you can bring up anything that's on your mind. We've been talking about voting, and does your vote count? Does it matter? Is participating in politics worthwhile? You can let us know what you think, or you can bring up something completely new. That's why we call the show Free Talk Live, because you can bring up anything that's on your mind. The way to call us tonight if you want to talk about something is 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE, the word free. 855-450-3733. That is, of course, the ProXPN toll-free call-in lines. And you can also call us on Skype. Our Skype ID is lrn.fm. Just send us a contact request and we'll get you up and running. Well, in the last segment, we were talking with Matthew in Florida, and he didn't we didn't quite have a chance to get into uh, what we were going, what he was going to say. So let's bring Matthew back on the line. Matthew, I know you had something you wanted to uh, discuss with us about voting and does your vote count or matter. So why don't you tell us more about that? Sorry, Matthew, uh, your your audio is uh, breaking up. Are you on a cell phone? I am. Okay, that's a little bit better. Uh, maybe continue with what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, I have a static myself. Yeah, now it's um, better. 
what I was what I was going to say is, is the votes do matter. Everybody's vote does matter. The problem is not enough people vote. There's only about 20 percent of the population that does vote, and when they do, they're party line. Uh, they're they're strictly party line people. I mean, they're you know you've got your strict Democratic voters and you've got your strict Republican voters, but. Um, well, I would say that they, those, those people's votes tend to matter less because the Republican Party can count on 30 percent of the population voting for them generally. Uh, That's I mean, not the numbers San Francisco. I've heard. I've heard about a third is party line Democrat, a third is party line Republican, a third is kind of it can go either way. Right. And, and that's about it. And it's yes, that third in the middle that makes the decision. The- but that's only 20 percent of the population that, that makes up that. Voters. Well, it depends on the election, and, right? Like more than half the population voted in the presidential election for Barack Obama. Uh, but when you're talking about local elections, sometimes you'll see as, fo- as small as 5 percent or less vote for who the mayor is or who the, the city councilor and the ward 12 is or whatever. Now, I want to ask you, Matthew, like, what do you find the problem with? Is it that people are uninformed or is it that not enough people vote? Because I've actually heard the same complaint, just sort of a variation of it. I've heard people say, well, the problem is that too many people vote, but most of them are uninformed. And so only the people who actually have an opinion should should turn out to vote. Well, the problem is that Congress has made it almost impossible for anybody worth the salt to run. I mean, it's if you have any, if you have That's any true. independent thinking, you cannot run. Uh, well, you can run, and it doesn't cost you anything. I mean, there's 45 states that a candidate can sign up for president for free. It costs nothing. Uh, it's trying to get the word out that costs the money, and it's trying to get the the mainstream media to even to even consider speaking to you. To be able to get your word out, it, so Absolutely. there's no way for an independent person to to inform folks. I mean, you can't inform them if nobody's going to talk to you. Yeah, so I'm I'm hearing from you that it's really hard to get your message out if you're independent, and I agree with you there. But then, how does it follow that voting makes a difference? Well, if you have if you have well, the power is in the people. I mean, if if enough people. Uh, put their vote into a candidate, that candidate has a chance for, to make a difference. Allegedly, but I mean, um, when we're looking at the Scotland situation, there's claims that the vote was uh, screwed there. There's been more than one time here in the United States where the claims have been, especially with the electronic voting machines, that... Uh, Dead vo- people in Florida, right? Right, but people, you know... Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, I mean, this is really difficult. Now, the only point I was making when I said that your vote doesn't matter is a mathematical point. I'm not making any point beyond that. I'm not saying that you should or shouldn't vote, but I mean, I really do think that there's a large percentage of the population and I'm going to go out at 80 percent um, that shouldn't vote. They're completely unqualified and they, they can't make decisions well in their own lives, let alone try uh, the attempt to make decisions in other people's lives. So wait, you think 20 percent of the people wait, wait, wait. are qualified to make decisions for other people inside this system and understanding? Like if you if okay, you can't that's name, why I reject the system, because I don't think anyone's qualified to make decisions for other people. I concur about their the, lives. The, the, right. the, the, I, I have to agree with that. We live in a land of the free. You're free to make whatever decision you want to make. Not with voting, you're not, my friend. And that's the reason I suggest that, um, you like, to me, voting is a defensive measure. Because the fact is, is I know that other people who do want to control my life are going to vote. So my only reason for voting is to try to counteract the statists that attempt to control other people's lives. Now, I understand that mathematically I am only controlling one statist. When I go out and I vote, um, that I'm only attempting to uh, counteract the vote of one of them. And usually I'm voting for the lesser of two evils, um, you know, when it, when it comes evils, down to you it. You are correct. Yep. You are correct. Lesser of two evils. It's always, it's, it's almost always voting for the lesser of two evils unless you're a strict party line voter. Well, I mean, there's yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of human nature. Line. Matthew, thank you for calling in tonight. 855-450-3733 is our number here on Free Talk Live. Yeah, I think there's a lot of human nature that just doesn't get taken into account because that's usually the argument for why we need government to vote for in the first place is because, look, people are just bad. They're, you know, they're, I, mean, I don't agree with that, but people are just inherently evil is the statement that kind of goes around. And Thomas Paine said, you know, government's a necessary evil, saying that somehow it's necessary. But also, at the same time, let's say When that, is evil ever necessary? It's not, <laughs> but, but you're right, exactly. But let's say that that were true. 
then you also have to consider that the very people you would actually want to have these said powers that you are voting for are the people that would never go that would never run for the it. least likely to go for they it. wouldn't they wouldn't I don't think they would uh, I, I mean have you heard uh, what is the word for that system that some people have called in and advocated before where basically people are conscripted to become politicians. Because then the idea is that you're getting people who aren't seeking out running for office. You're getting. Oh, I don't know the word for that, but that sounds it's, better than what exists. It starts with an S. <laughs> to it's some like degree, but then it's still conscription, and that's anti-freedom in itself. Yeah, I don't buy into it. I'm just yeah. even bringing it up. No, cause... right, right. But I mean, but this is the thing: is that okay? Let's say human nature requires government. Then human nature also says that government will always be sought out by those who are seeking power. It will not be sought out by the good, by mm-hmm. the nice people. Right. Power tends to cr- tends to corrupt. Power also tends to attract the corrupt. Mm-hmm. So you have this situation when you create power, centralized power, as governments tend to do, you have a situation where you're, uh, you know, drawing people in. Now, you know me, Stephanie, as well as, you know, most people. And you know that what I'm not, I'm not trying to control other people's lives by being involved in the political system, right? Uh, yeah, I think I could say for reasonably certain you're not trying to control other people's lives. Right. So, um, you know, when you say liberty's not on the ballot, every once in a while, liberty's on the ballot in New Hampshire. Right? Like, if no. the liberty was on the ballot at the Republican primary in my town because I was on the ballot, right? And, like, I have no intention of controlling people. Uh, no, because if you're in the political system, you're still controlling people. The system I'm is bigger than you. I'm controlling the people that want to harm people. And that's a good thing in the political system. But you're system. also controlling everyone. You can't. Through the political system, you can't control some people but not others. Like, you're in a system that is inherently domineering over everyone. So if I was to remove from some law somewhere that marriage is between one man and one woman, who am I, whom am I harming? Well, I mean, some people, it, like, get John T. Kennedy to call in. He would say that you're expanding government because now they have to do more paperwork to process all the gay marriages or whatever. Yep, that's a removal of words inside the system. Well, how about- let, let's say even that it's that your premise is true, Mark. It's still the exception, not the rule. Oh, yeah. Okay, and that's a problem either way. Uh, a- I, agreed. Yeah. The, the system's a problem. <laughs> yeah. you, you're not going to get any argument from me there. However, I don't mind going down the, you know, a little ways down into the cave and attempting to, you know, poke a sharp stick at the dragon in the attempt of trying to do something about it. So, you know, to borrow an analogy from, um, I think this, I I don't know if, if he was the one who came up with it, but I've heard it from Stefan Molyneux, okay, which has, you know, he's got some great things to sure. say about, about politics and voting. You know, the mafia um, is kind of a corrupt the mafia. system. Mafia. The mafia. <laughs> it's a corrupt system, but they do a lot of good things. You know, they do some charity and they, you know, give back to the community. They educate kill- children. Why don't we just work within the mafia to try to improve it? If we could only make a few changes, we just have to join the mafia and try to work within the system well, the to make it better. The small potatoes compared to the government. And I do think we need people to go into the, um, you know, into Go into there. the mafia. What do you think? 855 450 free. This is Free Talk Live. More coming up. These days, when I'm in a relationship, I feel like I'm alone. Like there's no one behind the mask. No voice on the other end of the line. Are you looking for a car insurance policy totally devoted to you? At Geico.com, you'll find a sympathetic ear, a shoulder to cry on, butterfly kisses, and easy ways to pay your bill and manage your policy. We're waiting with bated breath to help you save money and talk about your feelings. Geico. 15 minutes could save you hundreds on car insurance. Wake up and smell the freedom. One of the easiest things you can do to help Liberty is to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to help keep them drone-proof. You can set up your home computer to download and share Freedom Fiends archives over BitTorrent. You can even set up scheduling so it only shares while you're asleep or at work. Put your unused computing power to work and help keep the Freedom Fiends around well into the future. Simply go to freedomfiends.com and click on the Torrent Club link and learn how to torrent and share Freedom Fiends archives. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a 
powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Americans are reeling from Obamacare, higher prices, and an epidemic of policy lapses. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com has you covered. World-class medical and surgery at one of Asia's most modern hospitals. 300 doctors, surgeons, and dentists serving 300,000 patients a year. Fractions of U.S. prices. Friends or family forced to go out of pocket? Avoid bankruptcy. Tell them to run. Run like hell. Hit us up now. We'll show you how. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, the live Sunday night show. Tonight, it's me, Stephanie, here with you. And Brian. And Mark. Call us. Bring up anything that's on your mind. We're talking about voting, but you can feel welcome to change the subject. Our number is 855-450-3733. 855-450-FREE. That's the Pro XPN toll-free call-in lines. One more time, 855-450-3733. Bring up anything that's on your mind or on Skype, lrn.fm. And oh, Pro XPN, if you care about your privacy we had a caller earlier asking about how can i get some facebook privacy uh you know by not using their messenger app and i recommend a chat secure or using facebook in the browser or something but if you want some real serious privacy the first step to go to is pro xpn and this will work on that android phone too or on ios you take your pick it works for OS X, windows linux you name it they got you covered and it's a vpn service okay that's a virtual private network and what that does is it encrypts all your data before it leaves whatever device you happen to be running it on okay and so that keeps it from getting to the isp that keeps it from getting to the nsa that keeps it from getting to bad actors at airports and mcdonald's that keeps it from you know getting to your employer because you know a lot of these isps are holding some of this data that you just you know regular websites you're going to that maybe you didn't even mean to go to is getting held by ISPs and could be accessed by your employer. It's true. So you want to get a VPN service. This is step one for your digital privacy and your digital privacy today is just as important as your analog privacy, your meat space privacy. So go to proxpn.com. I want you to use the code FTL50 if you're going to go with an annual plan, okay? And you will get 50% off the lifetime of your account, the lifetime of your account, not just for a year like some of these other cats do. This is the lifetime of your account. And if you use Bitcoin, they love Bitcoin over at ProXPN, uh, use the code FTLBTC and you'll get 62% off. How about that? Uh, so go to proxpn.com, use those codes FTL50 or FTL. BTC and take control of your privacy, really. 
All right. Yeah, we definitely had some interest in uh, learning how to chat securely earlier in the show. So I think our audience is definitely inclined to be interested it's important. in internet privacy. Absolutely. All right. So, Mark, um, let's talk a little bit more about voting. Sure. Um, the callers, well, the caller Matthew had brought up, does your vote actually matter? And that's sort of a different question of does your vote count? I would argue that maybe your vote doesn't really count in that it's a statistical drop in the bucket it's really not likely to i don't you're not going to get an argument for me on that uh uh, you know that's not what i was trying to say i was trying to say that i think even if your vote doesn't count it does matter okay in that it means that you're putting your energy into uh going and checking that box and participating in the system and that matters that makes a big difference to your personal integrity to your your life you know you're thinking about it it's it's something that's on your mind it's something that you identify with doing like people seem to get really kind of upset sometimes when you challenge the idea that um one should vote in elections because they see it as a part of their identity you know i'm a voter i'm a i participate in the country and if you don't you're bad american and so forth right well, you, you know, i mean okay so uh, there's a whole bunch of things that have been brought up here and i i think that they're all worth uh, looking at um I, I saw something where they were out trying to get americans to point at north america on a map and something like a, th- a quarter of them couldn't do it. Yep. And government like, schools consider for a second. If you thought about going to vote and you can't find North America on a map, you're unqualified. If you don't know who the vice president is, you're not qualified. Like, I just don't think I think that the vast majority of people we've been told this is a democracy. It's a government of the people. Everybody should vote. If you don't vote, you can't complain. You know, those kind of things. No, I, I think that, look, the people who are qualified to be brain surgeons are probably the ones who are doing the brain surgery. The people who are qualified to build rocket ships are probably the ones building rocket ships. And the people who are voting, well, sadly, are completely, many times, unqualified to vote. And that's why I think this system is untenable. That's why I think the representative republic that we, in which we inhabit, the democratic republic in which, you know, has kind of gone from small government uh, back in the 18th century to what it is now, essentially a global hegemony that tells every government in the world how to behave, that that in and of itself is a terrible form of government because we can see what it is. We can see what happens. So um, all I propose in being involved in the political system is, is, look, I moved here for the Free State Project, and you mentioned the oath previously um, to for the Free State Project, and I, I'd like to hear it says I'll the, exert the fullest. It's not exactly an oath. I mean, okay, the, I, that word statement of intent. That is word the right bugs term. me because yep. it sounds like oath keepers. You're right. I'm yep. sorry. The statement of intent is says that I will exert the fullest practical effort toward the creation of a society in which the maximum role of civil government is the protection of an individual's life, liberty, and property. So I go and I'm a delegate to the state convention to vote on the platform um, of the Republican Party for this reason, to support the other people that go and do the representative stuff that have managed to make to, to move the ball forward in New Hampshire as far as making this place a more free state, a, a state where we have fewer taxes, um, you know, the government's kept in check to the best they can. Obviously, they're not successful every single day. Um, you know, it's like it's like having a batting average, a, a 300, which is three times out of 10, seven times out of 10, you miss. Uh, a 300 batting average is phenomenal. Yeah, you know, I, I know you don't really advocate for national politics, you know, at the national level or whatever. No, I don't think it's worth trouble. Okay. Um, which... Why that Local yours works and is. that one doesn't is like I don't I don't understand why why there's a difference there. But regardless, um, I think there's a lot of alternatives that people could do. To, like Stephanie said, there's you know you're taking the time to go and vote. What could you do in that time? You know something that everybody's been freaking out out about for years now is Obamacare. And they're like, well, we got to get to the voting booth. We got to get somebody in there that's going to put a stop to, to Obamacare. You have no idea if the person you vote in is going to stop Obamacare. But what no, you in can fact, control. None of the politicians do seem to be wanting to stop it at no, all. No, well, it's the Republicans weird. have voted on it many times. Sure. Okay. But in any case, what you could do instead of going to the voting booth is you could go to the gym and you could work out <laughs> or you could eat healthy and you could be. You could negate one of the, the need easiest for it. ways to get real freedom is to be ridiculously healthy. Brian, okay, people and, vote. <laughs> the people vote for 20 minutes or let's let's go crazy one hour every two years 
But how much time going do to they work s- out one hour every two well, years? Right, but if it's this, a drop some, the bucket no, yeah, but if this is if how much time do they spend following the news? Though it depends on the person. You're you're taking your experience, which was you were full. You are a driven woman, Doctor Stephanie yes, Murphy. That's true. <laughs> I was you, emotionally invested. When in it. you were emotionally invested in the political system, right? Like you took this crap seriously, seriously right? Yes. And more seriously than I do. And so, to some extent, I'm getting the um, I'm getting that. What, what do they call that in psychology? Where um, you're mirroring I'm your pre- Projecting. You're projecting, right? Like you're projecting <laughs> your thoughts onto me. Like, yeah, I, perhaps. When I was sitting in that room listening to these, what I consider to be throwback uh, knuckle draggers, um, you know, talk about their thoughts on whatever the topic was, um, how they can basically keep young people out of the Republican Party and marginalize the Republican Party in New Hampshire to the point that is completely irrelevant going on for the next several decades. But it's important because of Jesus or whatever that is that their thought process is. Yeah, I was frustrated and I was upset. For a half an hour or 45 minutes in on my Saturday, which, you know, I could have been digging a hole in my farm and likely just as frustrated about hitting a rock every three, uh, three inches in the New Hampshire soil. So, I mean, you know, I, I don't take my frustration too seriously. In but if, but if this if voting is that serious, if this is that if that much is on the line, then there's no cost. Too great, and I think there are things that are far more effective that one can do. Let's talk about some of those voting. here coming up on Free Talk Live, the Sunday show. Let us know what you think. 855 450 free. How can we get more freedom in our lives? The central question. Free Talk Live. On Facebook, on the news, and in conversations with friends, we're bombarded every day with advice on how to be healthier, from gluten-free and non-GMO diets to how much exercise and sleep the body needs. But how much have you heard about alkalizing the body? AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops are a holistic and natural way to get your body's pH levels back in balance. Just a few drops in water will help your body rid itself of harmful waste. And even the healthiest of diets can be complemented with your daily use of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops. Who isn't looking for more vibrance, vigor, and energy? Now buy two bottles of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops and get $10 off your order. Visit AlkaVision.com or call 800-518-7615. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops are packed with a powerful combination of the most alkaline minerals and compounds. Open the door to greater health, vitality, and zest for life. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health. Call 800-518-7615 or head to AlkaVision.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Keenvention is coming up October 31st through November 2nd. Get your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, attend social events like the Costume Party, 
Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, James Robin Hood Cleveland, Rich Paul, and Free State Project President Carla Garrick will be keynoting. And we'll have all kinds of panels, including the new Cop Block panel and the new Movers panel hosted by the outlaw Josie Wales. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday night show with me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. Not too many other radio shows are live on Sunday nights, but... We bring you a live program every single night of the week. You can even watch it as we're doing the show live. You can look at the camera that's uh, putting out a video feed from the studio here. Pointing right at you at this point. Well, there's two cameras and they kind of switch off to get different vantage points. But um, one of them is pointed at me. The other one's pointed at all three of us. I'm actually in the chat room right now and you look fantastic, I must say. Oh, thank you, Brian. (laughs) (laughs) Well, there is also a chat room, as, as you brought up. You can chat with other listeners there. And the way to get access to all of that is at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com, all there for you for free. We're all going to the Coins in the Kingdom event. Oh, yeah, this is coming up fast, like in two weeks, right? Uh, Yeah, I guess it's about that. October 4th through October 6th. Tickets are 60 bucks. It's at uh, Walt Disney World, excuse me, Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando at the Wyndham Lake Buena Vista in downtown Disney. Now, when I say six, tickets are 60 bucks, that doesn't cover Walt Disney World, but it does cover the event for two days. And there's going to be all kinds of uh, there's going to be all kinds of Bitcoin people there. Um, Jeffrey Tucker from Liberty.me, Kyle Drake from Skyhook. Daniel, what's Skyhook? For Skyhook. People, what's what, what's Liberty dot me? <laughs> yeah, Liberty dot me is a social networking site for um, liberty oriented folks. Yes. Skyhook is a Bitcoin ATM uh, that's produced. Uh, there's also the uh, MIT Bitcoin Project is going to be there. Oh, where they gave each MIT student a hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin and wanted to see what they did with it. Cryptocurrency College Network. What do they do? Uh, they educate people about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Excellent. All kinds of folks that are going to be talking about Bitcoin and how um, you can change your life with it. It's uh, I think I think it's fascinating technology. <laughs> change your life. Uh, well, uh, De- Derek upstairs. Yeah, it's true. It's changed our lives. It's changed our <laughs> yeah, lives. I wouldn't dispute that. It just sounded kind of funny. It sounded like a like a churchy thing. <laughs> Indeed. Though admittedly, I'll be giving a talk there as well, and I might be bringing some black clouds to the Sunshine State. Coinsinthekingdom.com. There you go. It's worth it just for that. Coinsinthekingdom.com. <laughs> well, you'll have to go to find out what it means. All right. This is Free Talk Live. You can call us about anything that's on your mind. We have been talking about voting, and I think we're going to get into some secession talk here. And just to kind of tie it in with the larger issue of does the government sort of have the consent of the governed? That's always an interesting question. But you can bring up anything that's on your mind tonight at 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE, the word free, 855-450-3733 or on Skype, lrn.fm. Now, Brian, you had brought in this article that said 25% of people, one out of four Americans supports the idea of um, secession of the of the United States breaking up and not being so united anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or at least maybe parts of it breaking up. Do they support the idea or do they support support the right? The idea. Okay. Uh, this is from Slate, and that's an interesting point in itself. Mm-hmm. Is that S- Slate kind of gets this? Uh, I think it has this reputation of being what they call a liberal rag. Okay, and I think it's far more um, relevant to Salon. Than yeah, yeah. To Slate. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Salon has been on the warpath against libertarians lately. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, Slate has done that too, but they haven't been hitting it so hard. Lately. Yeah. The, the point I like to bring up though is that even from you know whatever news source, there's always something to kind of glean from mm-hmm. from any one of these, and you know that doesn't mean there's even a positive spin to this fact in this article. Yeah. Uh, so, but now, any- just I, I just want to say a couple things before. Before we begin with this, 
the headline says a lot, right? One out of four Americans. Almost one in four. Almost one in four. Yeah, okay, so like so three a- and maybe three quarters of Americans, which three quarter of American, I'm not sure what that looks like. Maybe somebody <laughs> that's like 125 pounds. I don't know. <laughs> right. Well, um, I just think that's an interesting headline, and we'll find out more about that in moments here. But also, you know, there was this proposal recently to break up California into six different parts from Tim Draper. And yes. that had actually quite... A lot of support. It got a, a lot of support. amount of support from yeah, people in California. It didn't fly, though, right? No, it did not go through, but they are bringing in third parties to count. Uh, and obviously, the people behind that six-split movement there mm-hmm. uh, really have the money to make that happen. And there have been secession movements in Vermont, in Texas, in Hawaii, sort of these areas that have Alaska. historical reasons to be a little bit peeved about the inclusion of their... Sure. geographical landmass in the U.S. And of course, New Hampshire has the foundation for New Hampshire independence and maybe a little bit of secessionist uh, sentiment in it. So it's not exactly a crazy idea like it's sometimes made out to be. Not only that, but p- public opinion changes. I mean, marijuana is still illegal in a lot of places, although that's changing. You know, there's medical pot bills and recreational pot stuff coming, going through. But most public opinion had been in favor. I think it it switched over in like the 90s. People saying that they thought marijuana should be decriminalized, and the politics took 20 years to catch, to catch up. To catch up, that. I, I, absolutely. Politicians are way behind the average person as far as what's going to happen, and it's just amazing to me um, how many people are like, "Well, we've got to hold the line, even though we know we're going to lose on this issue and alienate people and <laughs> yeah. you know marginalize." Po- like it's just like, I, my God, really? That's what your ideas are? What if you were the person who got arrested for possession of marijuana in Colorado, like the day before? the law went into effect i mean like how yeah, does that what, feel what you lesson know? did that teach <laughs> <laughs> right like and how much suffering has gone on in the last 20 years that clearly the quote consent of the governed, like the opinions of people were on the side of yeah let's not throw people in jail for possessing flower buds of cannabis indica or sativa <laughs> yeah you know you know but and and they've been being thrown in jail for those 20 years and what is that accomplished you know yeah you know not to get onto a side tangent but i there is like the turnaround the turn of a new leaf on uh, on the marijuana uh, issue uh, but um uh. <laughs> is really i almost find it strange because now you have richard Bran- uh, branson you have a, a lot of other world leaders that are saying we need to end this drug war chronically yeah, yeah. I, I, right. Was that a joke? No. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing this. Yeah. <laughs> well, I it's hate to be blunt. Growing. I hate to be blunt, but I gotta tell you. Look, I don't want to be a buzzkill here. Okay, but <laughs> this is a classy joke. Everybody yeah. has one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but it is odd how many people are pushing for this now, and just how quickly it does seem to be changing uh, in the popular mindset. There's and a I, lot of people jumping on the bandwagon. Well, maybe it's the bandwagon, but I can't help but wonder if this isn't just another economy to inject in a failing overall economy uh, and that's There's where that that's where the too. change comes from that it has nothing to do with uh, with popular opinion because well, popular opinion I don't think has changed in 20 years I think it's been the same and why now and I think well, it's because everything's been dangling, crashing. people have been dangling the idea in front of politicians that look you can tax marijuana um, you know they, nobody would say it's okay for you to tax the, the tomatoes I grow in my backyard Mr. Politician but because these <laughs> presumptuous people these uh, <laughs> you know say that uh, you can't grow this particular plant and mm. they're willing to send people myrmidons with guns into your home to harm you um and, and they'll do it yeah. right like these paladins of justice have uh, been inculcated with these ideas that oh yeah well we gotta you know kill people harm people throw people in jail over illegal drugs for long enough they're willing to do it but uh, you know yeah i mean people have been hanging this idea in front, in front of politicians for some time and i think that that there's something, some value to the statement that now they've taken the hook, you know, that they've ruined the economy. Every, you know, politicians at all levels of the economy have ruined the United States, brought it down to the level that it's at, and that all they're looking for is another little boost in the arm from the black market. Um, we'll, we'll make this white market. We'll take more of the money. Um, we'll go ahead and do our shenanigans uh, for another 20 years. Maybe instead of indebting everybody's grandchildren, we can indebt their great grandchildren. Well, you know, The argument can really be made. There are people who say that prohibition was ended because they needed to pay for World War I, essentially. 
And that was the only reason. Like, it wasn't because they realized it was wrong. And Politicians rarely realize their actions are wrong. It brings up the question, though, of like, what if the politicians do the right thing for the wrong reasons, so to speak? I mean, I, it's you, you have to be, I guess, kind of a pragmatist in this discussion because I don't want marijuana to be taxed. I want it to be completely free. Sure. Speaking as a person who has no interest in smoking pot, you know, or anything like that, none of us on the show do tonight. Um, it's not really our particular issue. We just don't want to pay for it. We don't want to see people go to jail. But what if they're right for the wrong reasons? What if they decriminalize it so they get extra taxes, but, you know, people win because they stop going to jail? What if uh, pro- right. when prohibition was ended, you know, that was the right decision, but it was kind of for the wrong reasons because they want to pay for stuff. What if the whole women's... Uh, Women's liberation or whatever. Yeah. Was well, just to get more taxpayers. Was just to get more taxpayers. What do you think? Free Talk Live, 855 450 3733. What if politicians are right for the wrong reasons? Does it matter? Do you drink coffee? Was the last cup of coffee you had really good? Free Talk Live has teamed up with Buzzbox to bring you the best of the best coffee, shade grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. Get a free pound to try it out. A free pound of the best of the best coffee. Help others one cup at a time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Is your money manager giving you safety and security? Wouldn't you like to make your money work harder for you? Then you should consider joining PhilzGang.com, where thousands of individual investors have successfully profited. This year, I'm up 60% on my portfolio. Following your system has been fantastic. I've been with you for about a month and a half now, and I'm already up 7%. I've been in the business for a long time, and you're really one of the best I've ever heard. Well, I just want to let you know how great, what a great teacher you are. For over a decade, Philsgang.com's Phil Grandy and Donald Cogswell have been teaching, coaching, and investing right along with all Phil's Gang members. I want to thank Donnie for market wrap. I bought 2,500 shares of AUI and sold it this morning at $820 profit. Why not join thousands of satisfied Phil's Gang customers today? Go to philsgang.com, philsgang.com, or call 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Call today. Andrew Michael Jones is a liberty-loving activist and participant in the Free State Project. He's also been accused of being one of the administrators of the infamous Silk Road anonymous black marketplace. Andrew is facing a federal trial for multiple crimes with no victim. Whether or not he's the Silk Road administrator named Inigo, he has not been accused of harming anyone. In fact, the Silk Road is actually an amazing advancement that has reduced the overall harm of the black market to both customers and drug sellers. Whether or not he did it, Andrew, like alleged Silk Road founder Ross Ulbricht deserves the support of people who love liberty. Visit DrewsDefense.org to learn more and contribute to his defense. You can donate via PayPal or in Bitcoin, as I did. That's DrewsDefense.org. Drew's family does not have much, and his parents have put up their home and both retirement incomes to secure a $1 million bond on Andrew. He's currently on 24-7 house arrest and is prohibited from touching any device that could connect to the Internet. Please contribute to his defense fund via DrewsDefense.org. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Gabino lives in Palcapata, Peru. He buys old appliances like irons, radios, and TV sets, fixes them up, and resells them. He saw an opportunity to expand his business and needed a loan to buy more appliances. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan, and the expansion was a success. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time, get a free pound to try out the subscription, cancel anytime, coffee.freetalklive.com. 
You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, the live Sunday night show. It's me, Stephanie, here. And Brian. And Mark. Why don't you call us if you've got something on your mind? If you want to talk about voting, politics, we've been all over the map tonight. Or, uh, you know, maybe internet privacy or even cosmological changes. You can call us at 855-450-3733. Bring up anything that's on your mind. 855-450-FREE here on Free Talk Live, the Sunday show. That's 855-450-3733. That is, of course, the Pro XPN toll-free call-in lines. And um, let's go right to the phones. Um, we've got a caller on the line in Iowa, and I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, caller. Is it Mo- Musa in Iowa? That's Moses, that's Moses, Musa in Arabic and Moses in English. Ah, <laughs> welcome, sir. What's on your mind tonight? Good evening. Good evening, young lady. Good evening, gentlemen. Evening. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. I came to the United States in 1973, March, of, March 24th, 1973. Okay. I have a family. I had a big, nice, very good family. My son, uh, he's just about to retire from the Marines after 23 years of service. Okay. I'm very proud of him. Uh, I mean, I agree with, the, uh, you know, there's a storm war for Afghanistan uh, war. Why should we spill our children's life for those two crooks, you know? But my point Why is should this. we spend our children's lives uh, fighting wars in Afghanistan? Which crooks? Ma'am, these are, they are just the crooks. The politicians? Yes, ma'am. In, in, yeah. in Afghanistan, yes, ma'am. Okay. And I have one more thing to add. Okay. Really, my main point I wanted to call is about our people, the American people, naivety and unknowledge what goes on in the Middle East. And I strongly believe, like so many other people in this country, that the senators and the congressmen they only decide American foreign policy in the Middle East. Hypocrisy against the Arab and supporting Israeli or whatever they do. Yeah, I so you're think, talking about naivety about um, the Middle East among Americans, especially the politicians. What one message would you want to get out to them if you could? Well, you know, that Israel is not always right. Mm. I witnessed the war in Gaza last summer. I saw a woman, 27 years old, pregnant. Her head was chopped off by, by a missile from the uh, drone. Oh, my gosh. That's horrifying. So many Palestinians. 224 Palestinian children under the age of five, they were killed by Israeli missiles from F-16 and F-15 that we gave it to them. There's so much violence, and you you just can't say either side is really uh, completely innocent or great. So thank you, Moses, for the call. I appreciate your thoughts tonight. 855-450-3733. He said Israel is not always right. Well, I agree. I think there's a lot of naive uh, with the congressmen and with the politicians in general, because quite frankly, none of them have been over there. Um, no, of course not. Yeah, well, I, even if you've been over there, I always find that to be a, um, what, what, I, I don't know what the term is, but I think it's some kind of logical fallacy. I've stepped on the, the geopolitical mass known as um, Israel and mm-hmm. the one known as Palestine. I don't know crap about what goes on over <laughs> yeah. there. The yeah. very fact that I geolocated in that uh, area at one yeah. point doesn't give me any qualification. No, it takes... It takes time. It takes an understanding. It takes talking to the people there. I mean, wouldn't that be something if before somebody decided to lob some missiles, they actually talked to, to each other first? You know, wouldn't that be amazing if they could just have some kind of conversation in our hyper technological age where everybody's interconnected by Skype and Facebook and whatever else, even ones that aren't banned by various governments around the world? Wouldn't it be something if we could just talk to these people and say, hey, so what do you want? That's why I want mm-hmm. the politicians to do the fighting themselves. Yeah, I want them climbing the hill first. Right. I, I don't think that, you know, I mean, really, couldn't we solve this problem with ISIS by sending Barack Obama out with, uh, you know, a small shield and a short 
short sword to challenge whoever that ISIS guy is. I don't even know his name. Um, you know, to a to a duel. Maybe they can have it in some neutral ground in like Turkey or something like that. Put it in a soccer. <laughs> put it in a soccer arena. We'll pay per view it. Then the politicians can finally give us some freaking money instead of us giving it to them. I mean, I really don't care who wins. Frankly, um, you know, chop his head off. Uh, let uh, you know, chop uh, you know, who, whoever's head. I don't care. Well, I'll play us on the violent solution, but sure. Uh, either yeah. way, get them involved. I mean, it's it. How fast would these wars stop if they had to actually, if the commander in chief had to actually be on the front lines for once? You know, how fast it it stop in a heartbeat? I guarantee it. Yeah, it's so tragic. All the right. violence. That's my point. Is neither one of these people has the cojones to do this job, right? right. Like suddenly, you you understand what it takes. To walk into a situation where you're going, one of knowing that two men are going to enter and one man's going to die, now it brings it home. Instead of saying, you know what, I'm going to send some, uh, you know, uh, financially disadvantaged kids from uh, the inner cities or um, the rural areas of this country to go out there and catch a few bullets, so that we can kill some of their people um, that really are inconsequential. What's the point in that? Yeah, I mean, as a veteran myself, I can't tell you how many times, you know, my associates and I would pretty much joke. It's like, well, hey, are they going to line up first before we go in there? You know, are they going to lead the charge? I mean, and it just they know. I mean, the soldiers know. Yeah. They know that this is this, this it's is comic crap. relief. They're joking about something yeah. that actually has a lot of truth to right. it. And then society. But the problem is, is that society, American society, and really almost any you know uh, patriotic or nationalistic society, keeps saying, "Oh no, you guys are the best." And so people keep thinking they get this payoff when they come home. You yep. know that somehow they did some kind of honorable thing. When deep down, the reason you can't, the, the reason veterans and soldiers can't sleep at night is because they know what they did was wrong. Myself included. I had those sleepless nights. I know the deal, you know. And so, yeah, why don't they line up first and then we can talk about it? You know what I mean? I mean, honestly, I want all the, you know, all of it to stop. But let's start there. Yeah. Well, from from United States foreign policy to uh, the local scale, Mark, you had something you wanted to say. We were talking earlier in the show, just in case you're just tuning in. We were talking earlier in the show about your participation in the local Republican Party in New Hampshire, trying to get the planks of their platform changed to include gay marriage, which failed. And this was your second year trying to do that. And you wanted to say, like, what you got out of it. And I'm curious, what did you get out of it? Well, yeah, right. So um, one thing is, is that I've been stating for two years is incorrect, right? I've been going and um, saying saying that the, we were 27 votes separated the last time in getting marriage between one man and one woman removed. And that's an incorrect statement. We were 27 votes from being able to have a vote on whether to remove marriages between one man and wow. one woman. So it was another step well, so, away from what right. you actually so wanted we, to accomplish. We got, we got the vote, but the vote was essentially one to two. Um, you know, two out of two out of three people in the room said no, that's not uh, worth doing. Many of the people that voted against enough of the people who voted against were free staters. I saw them do it. I know they did it. Now, I know that some of them don't consider this to be an important issue and one that should not be a battleground issue. I've just thought, used it up, th at, up to this point as sort of a bellwether as to how many people in the Republican Party are liberty-oriented and how many of them they are just sort of these standard-issue conservatives that uh, populate Republican parties across the United States. And so I... I I don't know the answer to my question, but I do know that I did find some things out. You don't know out. what you got out of it? Is that what oh, you're saying? What I got out of it was I'm there to support the people who go and do the representative stuff. I'm trying to help them achieve what they want to achieve inside the House, and it's worth a trip across the state for me. But what if they... Is there anyone who you're trying to support that you that wants freedom on every issue every time? Lots of people. You know, there's lots of free staters that are uh, that. No, sort. actually, I know there are lots of free staters who compromise a lot. Yeah, there's <laughs> that too. Well, compromising to in order to get every to to get freedom on every issue every time. Some people compromise. Some people don't compromise. And the compromisers, maybe they achieve what they want. I don't know the answer. I don't know mm -hmm. which one works better, compromising or not compromising. Well, being in, being in the system, period, often ends up being a compromise. Yeah. You have to make some concessions to be able to play the game. Many times that's the case. Because you're playing by someone else's rules. I would like to say this, though. The Republicans voted this last um, you know, year um, voting session to demilitarize the police in the state of New Hampshire, 75 to 25. 
the 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 issue went down in flames because the Democrats voted the other direction, 75-25, to keep the police militarized because they're in the pocket of the police unions. Wow. Um, the police unions is in their pocket or whatever the terminology is. But I don't think this would have gone that way in most states. I don't think most states that Republicans would have voted 75-25 to demilitarize police departments, get rid of, um, you know, mine-resistant vehicles and all these uh, fancy toys they have. Um, and I think that that shows to some extent how the Republican Party in New Hampshire is different. So, and another thing that I get out of it, I've got to say that there's a pride-based thing, right? Like I get to say, you know what? I'm a delegate to the state convention for the Republican Party. And that's kind of a... Why is that a point of pride? Well, um, because people are constantly trying to talk about libertarians, how um, you're an American, you're a bad person, you you hate the country and all those things. And, you know, how many of those people have stood up and taken the time to go to their state capital and vote on, you know, issues no, that matter to them? No, but don't you think they would just criticize you for something else if you said, well, you haven't gone to this delegation? No shortage of criti criticizing, but you can bel belittle their point pretty quickly. Well, it seems like a lot to go through in order to be able to say, well, I did this. Anyway, uh, what do you think? It's Free Talk Live. People climb Everest and do a lot more. <laughs> Sunday edition, 855. Bodies litter the, the mountain. 450 free, 855-450-3733. Hour 3 coming up. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. Is gun ownership about target shooting, hunting, and self-defense, or is there more to it? Oath Keepers and Brayburn Entertainment present Molon Labe, inspired by the works of Edwin Vieira Jr., explains why we need to revitalize the state militia system. Featuring Ron Paul, Pat Buchanan, Larry Pratt, and Stuart Rhodes. Available on DVD at moviepubs.net, oathkeepers.org, and gunowners.org. Are you tired of your taxes funding endless occupations around the world? Antiwar.com is run by people who understand that wars abroad become wars at home, wars on our freedoms. Antiwar.com is dedicated to bringing you the latest in news, views, interviews, and reviews from the top movers and shakers in the anti-occupation movement. Antiwar.com has it all, from thorough foreign policy analysis to interviews with whistleblowers who used to run the military-industrial complex. Antiwar, pro-free market. That's Antiwar.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, September 19th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,219, silver opened at $18.36, and Bitcoin is trading around $393. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Support for Liberty Beat comes from the Michael Cargill for Austin City Council District 1 campaign. Vote Michael Cargill to get the cars moving. Learn more or sign up to volunteer at CargillForTexas.com. Political advertisement paid for by the Michael Cargill for Austin City Council District 1 campaign. In the news, the St. Louis Post-Dispatch is reporting that the Ferguson police officer behind the shooting death of 18-year-old Michael Brown testified in front of a grand jury on Wednesday. The Post-Dispatch stated that Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson spoke for four hours in front of the seven men and five women on the grand jury. Wilson was reportedly cooperative with St. Louis County and federal investigators. The grand jury has been expected to make a decision on whether or not to charge Wilson by mid-October. Earlier this week, CNN reported that St. Louis County Judge Carolyn Whittington had extended the grand jury's deadline until January 7th. 
It started with a wellness check. It ended with a four-hour standoff between police and a man who allegedly wanted to kill himself. Jose Silva posted live images of the SWAT team pointing guns at his car to the social media site Whisper. Silva recently broke up with his girlfriend. It was she who initially called law enforcement and indicated he may be armed and was making suicidal statements. Hours later, he was clock driving his car over 100 miles per hour, and the standoff began. After spraying chemicals into his car to induce nausea, the police arrested him and took him into custody, where he'll spend 72 hours for psychiatric evaluation. No weapons were found. The fire chief garrison of Reno, Nevada, is warning residents to be very aware and very vigilant in response to a recent rise in fires caused by so-called smart meters. The new electric meters send energy use data electronically to electric companies, reducing the need for an in-person meter read. Of the nine fires in the area that appear to be linked to smart meters, one resulted in death. Nevada Electric reports over 70 consumed meters, meaning the cover is melted or breached and soot can be present. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Cabo Bob's, Southwestern-style burritos. Now with two locations in Austin, at 500 East Benway Boulevard and 2828 Rio Grande Boulevard. Find them online, CaboBob's.com. And support comes from Sovereign Living a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com and watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show at SovereignLiving.tv. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, September 19th, 2014. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com and like us on Facebook at Facebook.com, The Liberty Beat. Activists with the Detroit Water Brigade are calling on Detroit citizens to join in the Occupy the Bankruptcy campaign to fight the controversial water shutoffs taking place in the city. The plan calls for a meeting Monday at 8.30 in the morning on the steps of the federal courthouse for a speak-out with families facing water shutoffs. The group is demanding that U.S. Judge Stephen Rhodes immediately stop the shutoff program and create an income-based water affordability plan. Former drone intelligence analyst Heather Linebaugh has begun speaking out in support of alternative treatment methods for post-traumatic stress disorder for veterans. I use yoga a lot. I practice transcendental meditation, and I was actually part of a case study that studying the effects of relaxation massage on people with PTSD and actually studied my sleep patterns when I was able to sleep longer after I got massaged and my mood patterns, like how my mood was while I was in the program getting massage regularly. I used medicinal marijuana for quite some time to sleep at night. Linebaugh served in the United States Air Force from 2009 until March of 2012 as an imagery analyst and geospatial analyst for the drone program during the occupations of Iraq and Afghanistan. A new study suggests that veterans dealing with PTSD may benefit from breathing-based meditation treatment. Researchers with the University of Wisconsin-Madison published the study in the Journal of Traumatic Stress. Chartered psychologist Dr. Kate Sparks with the British Psychological Society said the study showed how breathing is radically affected by how a person is feeling and that deeper, fuller breaths can help manage PTSD symptoms. Today's edition of the Liberty Beat brought to you by Brave New Books, your source for all things Bitcoin. Now hosting a Bitcoin ATM located in Austin, Texas at 1904 Guadalupe Street or online at bravenewbookstore.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, September 19, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Thousands took to the streets to protest the NYPD's Stop and Kiss program. New Yorkers who've been stopped often say the encounters feel extremely intrusive. Going through my pockets, throwing my stuff on the ground, kissing me on my neck and face. They push me up against the wall and start nibbling on my ear. Joining us now is legal analyst Susan Hughes and Mark Brennan, a former police officer who has defended the Stop and Kiss program. Look, it's one thing to kiss someone who you think might commit a crime, but these officers are just kissing people left and right with no probable cause. If you've got Got nothing to hide, then it's not a problem. They just stop, ask where you're going, give you a gentle kiss or two, and let you go. Mark, there have been examples, public examples, where these procedures have just gone too far. Let's take a look at a disturbing cell phone video that's been making the rounds on the internet. Stop! Put your hands on your head. Oh, come on, man. They just kissed me two blocks ago. Come on, man. I didn't do Shut anything. Shut the f up and let me kiss you. Look, the cops can either kiss people now before there's violence, or they can be kissing a bunch of dead bodies at a crime scene. This is the Onion News Network. Sunday night show. 
It's me, Stephanie, with you. And Brian. And Mark. We're kicking off the third hour of tonight's program. And in case you're just tuning in, Free Talk Live is a show where you can call and bring up anything that's on your mind. Unlike those other talk shows, well, for one, we're live on Sunday night, unlike other talk shows. And for two... You can bring up any subject that you want to talk about. You don't have to stick to the topic that we're already discussing. And if you want to do that tonight, the number is 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733 here on Free Talk Live, the Sunday night show. And of course, our phone lines are sponsored by ProXPN, our favorite VPN company. Thanks to them. Yeah, indeed. So... We were kind of talking about, um, you know, does the government have the consent of the governed and what happens if they do the right thing for the wrong reasons, such as sort of decriminalizing uh, marijuana or ending pro-alcohol prohibition to get more tax money? It still results in more freedom by and large. At least people aren't going to jail. Yes, they're paying taxes where they weren't before. uh, But, uh, you know... What what about that? Let's talk about that. But first, let's go to the phones because David is on the line in South Carolina. Let's talk about Israel. Hey, David. Hello. You're on the- how, how are you guys doing today? Doing great. What's on your mind tonight? Hey, uh, a couple of things. I would like to uh, somewhat piggyback on the per- the individual that talked about Israel uh, not uh, always being right. Okay. Uh, I would like to take it a step further. I think in the recent situation... Uh, they were mostly wrong, not not Israel, but the government of, of, of Netanyahu. It seemed as if those people, the children uh, over in, in Gaza, and the people were relegated to a position of being less than human. And I, I want to draw a parallel. Isn't that always what happens happen- in war? I, I mean, the the other side in every war is always dehumanized and not seen as, it, they're seen as fundamentally different than us. It's like an us versus them thing. Yes, and the thing about that is uh, there are those among us that so readily embrace any and everything that Israel uh, does, so um, we do the same thing. We look at them as less than human also. And then when you come here stateside and you look at the police shootings and things of that nature, uh, the uh, officer out in in Ferguson, Missouri, all of a sudden he became uh, the most protected. And then you look at the uh, mm. person that uh, shot the uh, officers in Pennsylvania. Uh, now he's uh, the most wanted. It's like, uh, what is going on? You know, aren't we citizens? Aren't we to be protected? Yeah, not anymore. It's pretty clear from the Supreme Court decisions that the government doesn't have any obligation to protect people, even though they claim that being a citizen means that you owe your allegiance in, in exchange for being protected. One thing that, that states are excellent at doing is separating people, having them, uh, you know, pitting them against each other. Governments, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah governments just, do that. It's I, uh, it's women versus men. It's black versus white. It's Republicans versus Dem- Democrats. It's young people versus old people. When really it's the real conflict is the, the, the government versus us. <laughs> that's it. So yeah. Basically, they have, en- they have embraced the Willie Lynch uh, uh, assertion, uh, pit- pitting us against each other. Uh, and I ask you, uh, what's uh, Willie what, Lynch? What Sorry, what's what is that? Willie Lynch. Yeah. Willie Lynch was uh, back in, I believe, it was the 16 and 1700s. He uh, was talking to the American slave owners and gave recommend recommendations to them as to how to keep their slaves in line. You pit the short against the tall, the dark against the light skin, the ones that work in the field against the ones that work in the house. Mm. And he said, I guarantee you will be able to control these people for the next 300 plus years. Wow. that's so, There's so much truth to that that statement, sort of and, divide and, it's, and conquer. It's still, in, it's still in effect today. Yeah. And and what do we do as a, as a people when we see now that these police, they will come after any of us. We don't have to be doing uh, committing any crime. You know, I'm, I'm, I try to be a law-abiding citizen, but I, I'm, you know, I'm 59 years old now, and I'm uh, afraid of the police. 
Well, yeah. But, yeah. I mean, honestly, what does that say when you're scared of the police who are supposed to be protecting you? Sure. I mean, the first thing I want to just comment on something earlier real quick is that as much as there is dissension within government and disagreement within government in the U.S. that exists in Israel as well. It never gets publicized in America for some reason, but mm-hmm. there's plenty of people there who don't want America involved. Absolutely. They don't, they don't want big government. They, they, you know, there's a lot of very libertarian uh, uh, leanings and thoughts David and, and organizations. David did point that out. He yeah, said yeah. the government of Israel. Right, he, right. But thought. I mean, but there's people in the government of Israel that are libertarian is comparable to, you know, libertarians in uh, in, in politics in the U.S. Mm-hmm. So I want to point that out. But as far as like what what you can do, I mean, the only thing I one of the most beautiful things I saw against police brutality was on Twitter when the New York Police Department said, hey, use hashtag my NYPD, okay? <laughs> and we want to see the wonderful associations, the wonderful uh, you know moments you've had with our police department. What happened was, is everybody on Twitter started posting every police brutality video and picture that the NYPD ever committed. And I think that's one of the very few things that actually really can work is just putting, you know, pointing the camera right back at Big Brother, pointing that right back yeah. at Panopticon so it doesn't exist and anymore. You know, I, I've seen that, and and I've seen some of these police officers. They will look right at the camera and keep doing what they're doing. Yeah, it's sometimes like they're animals. Right, but I mean, you can't go. You can't. I mean, what violent what action you can you do? take against them? You know, if you can highlight it, though, hopefully there could it. be some, uh, you know, some uh, restorative justice Indeed. after. David, the- thank you for the call tonight. Appreciate your thoughts. One thing I would mention to David is is that let's not forget about the Free State Project. The Free ah. State Project as a solution, I think, is I, I don't think there's any great solutions. There's nothing that's going to solve uh, the, the crises that were created over the course of 9,000 years with uh, the implementation of the state um, in, in a year. None of it's going to do it. And, you know, people arguing about what works and what doesn't work. I don't, I don't think anything particularly works. But the Free State Project has concentrated people in a particular geographic area. And the hope is, people that believe in the ideas of liberty, and the hope is, is that somebody will come up with something. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about it. We're going to do different things. We're going to create media. At the very least, you have a community so you don't feel alone. And that is the real kicker for a lot of people, that they... They just feel really alone and isolated yeah, where, I think it's wherever huge. they live because they don't have anyone around them who even remotely shares views about freedom. Yeah, you know, I love it when Ian really, you know, calls on the people and says, look, you want to do this court activism? You want to go in there, you know, and try out all these tricks? Please come here and do it so we can record it. Yeah, he so says you he'll can go to your trial. It. Yeah, and believe me, they will. This <laughs> guy's yeah, not he BSing. Yeah. He really will do it. He, I he mean, loves it's that amazing. Stuff. He will and, give up his job uh, making telephone calls to radio stations during the day on his nationally syndicated radio program to go downtown with a video camera to record your traffic ticket trial. That's right. The yeah. $5 traffic ticket t- trial here in Keene, New Hampshire. If you, uh, I mean, if you just show us the magic way to handle the courts. Yeah, I mean, you want to take on the system, do it with a community. You're going to get a lot more, uh, you know, bang for your buck when you do that. Uh, you know, whether I agree with it or not, as, as a, you know, as a, as a tactic or whatever, if that's what you want to do, please get with a community. And there's a community here that will support you 100%. Let's go to Myrtle listening in Colorado. Hi, Myrtle. You're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Uh, my name is Virgil. <laughs> oh, Virgil. I'm, I'm sorry. That sometimes, you know, our call screener writes down the names of the people, and <laughs> we got Myrtle. So it was lost in translation. What's on your mind, Virgil? <laughs> okay. Hi, Votes Matter. Okay, I, I, I tuned in when Uncle Thud was on there, and he you asked the questioner. He said something about cosmic forces affecting the Earth and volcanic activity. This, it's probably not in any book. It's just something I figured out. Uh, okay. The, the cosmic forces that, that he's looking for is solar flares. When solar flares hit the Earth, it affects the electromagnetic field of the Earth. Yep. It draws that energy in to the core through the poles, and that causes aurora borealis and aurora australis, or whatever. I can't ever say that word. But it causes those two auroras when that energy is drawn down into the core of the Earth. Uh, no, no doubt, solar flares, solar activity really affects our lives in very serious ways. Uh, it's very sci- easily scientifically provable ways, and solar flares are a concern at all times, no doubt. Yes, high energy particles moving through an electromagnetic field, they do induction, that, that energy is transferred to the core of the Earth, it heats the Earth's core. That causes a plastic, the crust gets soft. 
and the magma comes up through. Yes, Virgil, thanks for the clarification tonight. tonight. I appreciate you shedding light on that. Free Talk Live, the Sunday show. More coming up, 855-450, free. A powerful weight loss supplement is being given out to listeners in this area on a strict first-come, first-served basis. You must be between the ages of 25 and 65 and need to lose at least 30 pounds. Please call now only if you qualify. 1-800-409-5432. This product can cause dramatic weight loss, so supplies are limited. It's called Final Trim. Take two capsules just once a day as directed, and you can experience maximum weight loss. Pounds in days. It uses natural ingredients, making it healthy and safe. If your weight loss with Final Trim is too dramatic, please decrease use and only take one capsule a day. Call now and you will be given a full-size supply of Final Trim to use absolutely risk-free. Repeat, Final Trim is being given out to listeners on a strict first-come, first-served basis. Supplies are limited. Call 1-800-409-5432. 1-800-409-5432. That toll-free number again is 1-800-409-5432. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today, September 17th, 2014, gold opened at 1237.60. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1282.97, 641.48 for a half ounce, or 320.74 for a quarter ounce. That's 1282.97, 641.48, and 320.74. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. A local grandmother is beginning to realize that her family never even looked for a better nursing home. A man leaves a father-daughter dance with a different girl than he came with, and an earthquake late warning system goes off in Haiti. Watch as yet another precious fraction of your life passes mercilessly in front of your very eyes. This is the Onion Week in Review. Shortly after discovering he had locked himself outside of his suburban home Thursday, fully nude claims adjuster David Ronzo delivered a moving and thought-provoking treatise on the frailty of the human condition to a slowly gathering crowd of his neighbors. Ronzo, who initially panicked when he realized he was naked, soon turned and faced confused passers-by and delivered a stirring oration on the grim facts of mortality along with the indomitable nature of the human spirit. In other news, a man is arrested for stealing over $50,000 worth of beards from Hank Williams Jr. A pretty lady is playing hard to follow, and a dog named Murph lives up to his name. For more, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is the Onion News Network. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 357 What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday night show. Yes, we are live here on Sunday evening. We be me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. Call us at 855-450-3733. You can bring up anything that's on your mind here on Free Talk Live. 
Yeah, we've talked about voting and a little bit of solar flares thrown in there for good measure. But <laughs> you can change the subject and bring up something completely new. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. The ProXPN toll-free call-in lines here on Free Talk Live. Here on Free Talk Live, we have embarked on a new project to be able to give microloans through Kiva.org. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but Kiva.org allows you to select people around the world in different countries you want to help give microloans to for whatever reason they state. You can go look through, it must be thousands of different uh, people, uh, male, female, young, old, whatever. They have a cool feature where it lets you pick out the features so you can choose whether you want to lend to a group or an individual, yep. to a male or a female for agricultural purposes. Which country? Or which country? Which region? They whatever. really have a great way to search. And I actually just... um. The great thing about Kiva is once your loan is paid back, you can relend that same credit out to somebody else. Keeps going and keeps going. And yeah. that's what one thing that we're hoping for here with uh, Free Talk Live is, is that people who participate in our coffee program at coffee.freetalklive.com, you drink coffee. Well, now you can drink coffee, great coffee, shade grown, 100% organic and top 1% grade Arabica bean coffee. And so upgrade your coffee drinking experience and upgrade the world by giving microloans through us, through Kiva. And we're going to continue to give that money over and over again, helping people around the world. And I think it's a really great opportunity. I'm excited. Uh, please get your coffee. Go get a free pound. Try it out. We know you got to try it and see if you like it. Go get a free pound at coffee.freetalklive.com. Once you have gotten your free pound, you can sort of customize your experience, or you can cancel the subscription if that's what you want to do. Um, you can get it as often as you'd like, uh, you know, weekly, and you can get the type of coffee you want to get. If you're a decaf drinker, they don't have decaf as the free one from the get-go, but get a regular pound of coffee, give it to someone you love, get your decaf from there, because it's water decaffeinated instead of using that freaking embalming fluid or whatever the hell they use. Um, uh, <laughs> Coffee.freetalklive.com. I'm not kidding. Wow, interesting. Poison's in the dose, right? But well, yeah. I mean, there's various ways. I'm so I let's just preface this by saying I have a PhD in biochemistry, yep. so I'm familiar with organic chemistry. There are several different ways to decaffeinate coffee or tea. Mm -hmm. Water is actually a very effective one. It's uh, also it, patented, which means that only one really? organization can do it. Yeah. With water? That is insane. Oh, Look, I don't make gosh. the rules. Well, I mean, what here, are you talking about? You're a politician. <laughs> I hope nobody sues me for copyright for saying this or for in patent infringement. But basically, it's it's kind of a uh, open secret that if you have some tea or coffee that you want to make basically decaffeinated, mm -hmm. you can um, pour hot water, boiling water over the tea bag or coffee or whatever for like, you know, 30 seconds or a minute or something like that. And just let it steep for a minute. And that gets out like 80 percent of the caffeine. And then mm -hmm. you just... Uh, Throw that away or save it for later when you want a shot of caffeine and then steep it um, for a couple minutes after that on the second steeping and then it'll be mostly decaffeinated. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. So just a little factoid there. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't <laughs> too interesting to some people, but let's see what our callers have to say. We've got John on Florida. Jo sorry, John in Florida <laughs> calling us on the phone lines. Hey, John, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Um. I was calling in reference to you had a caller earlier that uh, was telling you that he was scared of the police. Yeah. Um, I've got one for you. I work at an apartment complex here in Tallahassee, Florida, and I was basically threatened with a gun. Um, I work on the grounds of the apartment complex, and a man and a woman came out. One had a bottle, and the man had a gun. Well... To make a long story short, I basically asked the guy, hey, you know, there's people around, there's children, and they're kind of looking to me to maybe ask you to put the gun away, maybe for a, a later time, or take it somewhere else and shoot the gun somewhere where there isn't children. Um, yeah, once, that sounds I reasonable. Him, let me, let me, I want to ask some right. questions. What kind of gun are we talking about? And he had it in his hand, is that right? Yes. At first, when he came down the stairs... He had his gun over the barrel of the gun, so I couldn't tell if it was a, a 22, a pellet gun. It was a gun. And like I said, people were concerned and looking to me to maybe say something. Uh, so I, I, I confronted him, you know, politely, and as soon as I was done confronting him, he immediately went into, you know, calling me racial names. I'm white, he was black, and called me every name in the book and then threatened to shoot me with the gun. 
several times. Wow. And, and what like, did you well, have in the way of, like, did you have a stun gun or your own weapon or anything like that? No, nothing. Mm-hmm. Nothing. I'm just a maintenance guy on the property there. Oh, geez. Okay. This is be- so, above your pay grade uh, to have to deal with. So, wh- right. Maybe right. I missed this, but so, how did you get into the, how did you get basically tapped as the person to confront the guy with the gun when you didn't have any weapons yourself? I was, it happened really quick. They came out while I was working there on the property. Okay. Right where they were coming out. There were kids out there playing. There were parents out there with their kids. And they were across the way, but they were still looking at me like, you know, here comes some, here comes two people. They're drunk. They've been drinking. They had a really big, large glass bottle and he had a gun. And after I confronted him, like I said, he basically started calling me names and threatened to shoot me with the gun. Nothing more disconcerting than an armed drunk person. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I said, okay, you know, whatever, and I backed off and immediately called 911. Uh, the first thing, um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm searching for, I need some protection. Who knows what this guy's going to do? Yeah. You know, is he going to shoot me? Could shoot these kids. These people are just lunatics. So I called 911. At first, they couldn't find the apartment complex. Um, I told them several times where it was, what the name of it was, and they had trouble finding the apartment complex. I'm like, look, by the time y'all get here, he's going to be gone. Yeah. when sec- um, You know what they say, John, when seconds count, the police are just minutes away. <laughs> right. Well, it took them a little while to get there. Um, you're not going to believe how this turned out once I tell you how this went. Yeah, tell um, me. Once they... Once they finally did get there, they brought, they, I mean, they must have brought at least somewhere between, somewhere between six and ten officers, including the sergeant of the Tallahassee Police Department. Okay. So they get on the scene, they get on the scene, uh, they, they confront us, and then they turn the whole thing around on me. And the, he says... Is the guy gone, or um, is he still there? No. No, he's still there. Um, he did. They took the gun from him. Uh, they told me that I was lucky that they didn't shoot him for one thing. Uh, I couldn't believe they turned this all around on me. Uh, he says, "Well, you knew he had a uh, a BB gun." I said, "Sir, I didn't know what kind of gun it was." He had his hand over the barrel. He threatened to shoot me with it. The minute he threatened to shoot me with it. I wasn't going to sit there and wonder, well, gee, is it a pop gun or a shotgun? Wow. Serving and protecting. What a story, John. I'm glad you made it out there all right. Thanks for sharing that with us and take care out there. That sounds like a really scary situation. Mm. Above his pay grade, for sure. Sorry you can't count on the people who are supposed to protect you. What else can you say? It's Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. More coming up here on The Sunday Show. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to MyMagicMud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, MyMagicMud.com. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpillett.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. 
From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the Liberty Media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Hi, I'm Montel Williams. Most of you know me as a talk show host, but I'm also an author, actor, single father of four, a fitness writer, avid snowboarder, and I'm also a medical marijuana patient. Like many of the million people who are living with multiple sclerosis, I'm in pain every single day. And sometimes my nerves are so raw that if you brushed up against me in an elevator, I'd scream. I can't sleep at night from the pain, and sometimes the spasms in my legs are so intense they will wake me up throughout the night. I've tried the strongest prescription medications available, and I'm gonna tell you, they do not work. In fact, they leave me in a stupor, and most of the time, it's impossible to even live your life. Now, I've tried medical marijuana, and I'm gonna tell you something, it works. If you'd like more information about medical marijuana, you can contact the Marijuana Policy Project at mpp.org or call 1-877-JOIN-MPP. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday night show. 855-450-3733 is the number to call. You can bring up anything that's on your mind, or you can also call us on Skype at lrn.fm. One more time, that phone number sponsored by ProXPN is 855-450-3733. 855-450-FREE spells out the word free. We were talking about Bitcoins earlier in the show, and I think it's uh, worth pointing out that you can go get your cryptocurrencies, whether it's Bitcoin or Darkcoin or Litecoin or Dogecoin or Blackcoin, whatever it might be, at ExpressCoin.com. They pride themselves in their customer service, um, so much so that they've recently redesigned their website to give you even better service. Um, they're inexpensive, legal, fast, easy to use. I've done lots of business with ExpressCoin, and I, and I recommend them. You can get your cryptocurrencies there, either with a money order, check, or wire transfer, or you can make a deposit at a local credit union that has shared branching in your town. But you got to start off with all those at ExpressCoin.com. You can do it with your smartphone by downloading their app, though, ExpressCoin.com. Yes, you can do it from Canada. And if you want to just try it out, do less than $40 worth using coupon code FTL, that's FTL as in Free Talk Live, at ExpressCoin.com, and you don't have any fee at all. Coupon code FTL, ExpressCoin.com. All right, let's go to the phones where Carlos in Florida is on the line. Hi, Carlos, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind tonight? Good evening, guys. Hey. The great and the piece of factory with you and your listeners. I am, since we're still, you know, mourning over the... the almost 3,000 people have died on September 11th. And I wanted to ask you guys whether you knew you know about two. There's, there's an entity called um, AE911truth.org with Richard Gage. Um, their main focus on, 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 of, of, their, um, of their organization is to let people know that there, there's, there was a spill to seven that went down and, you know, nobody, nobody, um, 
talks about this. Actually, not we're, many every 9 11 truther on um, the planet talks about uh, <laughs> the Building 7. Yeah, we're, mean, <laughs> we're, we're well aware. I mean, people call in about it a lot. I mean, uh, what do you think? Let me ask you this. You said at the beginning of your call that people are still mourning over September 11th, and I completely agree with that. But don't you think that sort of the they, them, those probably want us to be in this state of perpetual mourning and never really getting over it and sort of reopening these old wounds every every well, year? I, let, let me rephrase, the, you know, what I meant to say. Mm-hmm. Yes, you do. You do remember those people. You know, my my feeling is that all these people died and did you, whoever perpetrated this, um, which you guys already know that, well, people, some black sheep among us, perpetrated this and well are, i'm not convinced know, of that I, I i definitely think the truth's not out there but i'm not convinced necessarily that it was uh, as they say an, an inside job. yeah i guess if you if you're just tuning in you know and you haven't heard the show before i would what would you guys say your position on 9 11 is right not believing the official story necessarily but not believing the conspiracy official story oh i mean either. when you read the official documentation well, they say we don't know the truth about it you know so uh, yeah I, mean, I think it's just as plausible that uh, 13 people hijacked airplanes um four airplanes on the morning of se- september 11th as it is that they spent weeks and weeks uh lining up thermite in the basement of uh, three apparently three different buildings um in uh, new york city that tens of thousands of people work in i mean both of these are pretty implausible stories stories uh, but one yeah. of them seems more plausible than another yeah. carlos are you concerned that people don't know about some of this information is that is that oh, what definitely i mean it, exactly i mean if we if more people were to know about it what would happen well, two, what would happen if more people knew about things. it a 13 year old event well let him answer mark <laughs> well I, I mean i would say just like um henry ford said many years ago if people were to know exactly what was going on we would have a revolution tomorrow what good's a but, revolution going to do who's going to get in charge well i'm not talking about a revolution in which in which um well i mean you guys are part of the revolution what, and so am i well but, we're part of the evolution well, of liberty i hope but yeah and, now Carlos, there was a, there was a billboard people. in times square that said uh, building seven came down in a controlled demolition i think i think actually like the 9-11 truth movement has been very successful in getting the word out, but I haven't seen a lot yeah. of people lose faith in government, well, and that's kind of what I'm concerned yeah, with. Yeah, here, here's, Carlos, here, here's the thing for me, is that whether this is all true or not, you know, that the government was involved, it, they did it, they laid charges or whatever on these, uh, you know, buildings, um, if people, if what we know to be true if the American people are okay with what the government does on a day-to-day basis, I have no hope for them doing anything about when they find out that what 9-11 was. Because, look, our rights are trampled all over the place. In fact, Jesse Ventura said, even when, when 9-11 happened, he's like, where were you people in the 90s when when all these other you know laws were getting trampled on, when suddenly everybody got excited about it? I don't, I, I know, I understand what you're saying. You want to see some justice, you know, and you want you want people to know what happened. But I don't think the American people care. And I hate to say I'm that. I'm with you. I, 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 I definitely am with you. I mean, they, they don't. They don't um, seem to be caring about what they're being fed through the TV, which is a whole bunch of junk. Yeah, but even when it's true, it's terrible what's happening, and they just say, okay, you know? Yeah, I'm I'm with you guys. It doesn't seem like nothing's going to ever wake them up. But, thank thank you for the call, Carlos. Well, Appreciate you bringing no, up that point. You. This is Free Talk Live. 855-450-FREE is our number here. That's 3733 is what free spells. Yeah, 855-450-3733. We actually were in the middle of talking about this secession article where one out of four Americans apparently supports secession or at least the idea of it. This is interesting. Can yeah, we, now can this is something that I think that? I'd love to see a billboard up about if we're going to spend three million dollars let's spend it on the idea hey got secession you know like let's get out of let's get out of this business because that's probably in i mean in my opinion that's really the only way any kind of freedom is going to be had it's going to be pockets here pockets there you're never going to convince the masses of much of anything or you're not going to get them i shouldn't say you're not going to convince them you're not going to get them passionate about it that's really it because even when they know the truth even when they see the atrocities of war that happen out in the open no lies 
they don't care. They don't do anything. So you just got to get your passionate people with you. And apparently one in four Americans seem to be somewhat passionate. Uh, And that's interesting. So I'll read on here. It's from Slate. Uh, after Scotland, and of course Scotland was going for uh, you know independent, trying to shoot for independence to yeah, get away from been the big in the news. Yeah, trying to get away from the British Empire, and there's a you know a lot of uh, in fact there's conspiracies about that. Um, but after Scotland, all eyes are turning to Catalonia, where vo- voters will hold a non-binding vote on independence from Spain on November 9th. But maybe America. That one I bet passes. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I mean, they have. Yeah, that, it's a fascinating. All of these secession movements are fascinating and deserve a lot of exploration. Um, but maybe Americans need to focus closer to home. We already knew, courtesy of Slate's David Weigel, that breakaway movements in the United States were feeling inspired by the Scotland independence referendum vote. But it turns out that wanting to break away from the Union is not as much of a fringe idea as some might think. According to a recent Reuters poll, uh, almost one quarter of Americans said they, are either strong, they either strongly supported or tended to support the idea of their states leaving the union. Wow. Yeah. As could be expected. Oh, their state. That's interesting. I was wondering. Yeah, how, right where they are. I was wondering how the question was asked, right? Like, because if you ask someone, do you support the idea of Alaska or Hawaii seceding who doesn't live in Alaska or Hawaii? They might say, yeah, sure. Who cares? Let That's them go. That's what they want to do. Uh, but like, it's different when it's your state. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That, in fact, that's far more impressive because that means it's yes. not just They're a gathering. To the idea. Yeah, it's not just you know the sixteen hundred people in New Hampshire, or it's not just you know wherever these people happen to be. This is everywhere. They're not just NIMBY secessionists. Do you, right. do you guys know that phrase, NIMBY? NIMBY not in my Pamby? backyard. Not in my backyard. Oh yeah, yeah right. Yeah, NIMBY. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as could be expected, going on, uh, the feeling is hardly overwhelming. After all, more than half, fifty-three point three percent, directly opposed the notion or tended to oppose the very idea, but. What is surprising is that the desire to leave the United States cuts across party lines and regions, notes Reuters, before specifying what you'd expect. Republicans and residents of rural western states are generally warmer to the idea than Democrats and Northeasterners. Hmm. Huh. Very interesting. I'd like to hear a little bit more about this coming up here on Free Talk Live. Our phone number, 855-450-3733. Moments remain to get your thoughts in. More coming up. This is the Sunday Show, Free Talk Live. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Healthy elimination is essential to high energy, a cheerful mood, and prevention of disease. Some of the founders of our modern holistic health thinking state that disease begins in a toxic colon. A toxic intestinal tract is the foundation for virtually all degenerative disease. And a clean and well-moving intestinal tract is the foundation of health. I just want to say that you folks have an amazing product. I've taken whey protein products for years, and I've never noticed results I have with your product. I've suffered with thoughts of constipation most of my life. Within a few days of taking one world whey, I know noticed a dramatic change. Also, in the past few years, I've experienced symptoms associated with diabetes. I feel horrible when I've had too much sugar, and I've been getting the foot pain as well. But I've noticed in the past week or so, I'm not feeling bad anymore, and the foot pain is gone. I'm just finishing up a five-pound tub I ordered and just got off the phone ordering more. I love your product. Thank you. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325. Or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! On your knees! What's the problem? 
problem, officer! Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. This is the live Sunday night show. Although we are on the final segment of tonight's program, so if you want to get your call in before the end of the show, Better do it quick at 855-450-3733. But never fear, Free Talk Live is on seven nights a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you don't have call to if you don't have time to make your call tonight, there's always uh, six more nights every week in order to do so. 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-free. Or you can call us on Skype at LRN.fm. And uh, just want to mention before we get into uh, our calls here in the last segment of the show, uh, Brian, you do your own podcast. You have a technology podcast. Yeah, we had a caller that, that called in and said the Golden Stallion was in the uh, uh, you know nickname. was here today, and that is uh, my nickname for my show, Sovereign Tech, the Golden Stallion of the Tech World. And where and can people find that online? You can go to s o v r y n tech dot com. Uh, and why would people listen to Sovereign Tech? Well, it's all about science and technology and how it can set you free and it, and a lot of it's very forewarning i i you know to some degree i can i like to predict what's perhaps coming and what technology can get used for and sometimes i'm i'm kind of right and so you know it's interesting to get that perspective i think uh, out there very cool all right let's go to the phones talk with matthew listening in georgia hey matthew you're on free talk live hey i think uh 9-11 was an inside job to myself I've seen on YouTube, and I know anyone can look at it. It's on a bunch of them on there. You can see Bush when he was in the classroom on the day of 9-11, right at, as it was happening, the towers were getting hit. He had The children in there were being made to say, plane must hit steel. And they have them, their pack packs right in front of them. And make them almost like they're bowing to go get their Is bus. this the same video I, where like he gets whispered in the ear the news of what happened? Exactly. Okay. I think it's some uh, kind of esoteric occult stuff myself. Well, th- now you've taken this to another step, right? Like yeah, it's, I it's one thing to claim that uh, thermite has been added to, you know, over the course of what at least has to be 30 days, maybe 60 days to rig these buildings up with thermite. But now the suggestion Now they're if, flaunting it. Yeah. You know, rather than somebody's taken a video and dubbed um, some kids saying, uh, you know, plane must hit steel on it, that the likelihood is is that uh, that occult people have taken over the White House and they are so effing stupid as that they would make it obvious to anybody that what they're doing well maybe they want it to be known well, I, why, so well, why, why don't they just grab well, hold up on, somebody? Mark, <laughs> calm down a little bit i'm curious i'm actually really curious about this like there is this idea that there are occult people in politics and in hollywood and they kind of show off that they're in charge and by like flashing their symbolism around so well you know i, I think what it is they let others in their group 
they know it right away when they look at it, and they know most people don't really care or believe it when they see it in their face. I mean, you can look at the on the street view on map, look at the White House, and you see it's an inverted pentagram there. And well, even the Pentagon itself is a pentagram itself. Well, you know, there's there certainly about. oddities with Washington, D.C. Like, I've never been able to understand how, why Washington, D.C. looks exactly like the Vatican. You know, right down to the the Washington they Monument like looks like right up in St. Peter's Square. Yeah. They I mean, like the Vatican? But, yeah, but Matthew, I'm curious, like, what is the point, what would be the point of... Um, uh, occult people in these positions of power like flaunting it by showing off these symbols well i think they're just praising uh lucifer the devil they worship myself. praising the devil i think they're wanting a new world order you see bush you see them all obama every one of them thanks every single one of these presidents and leaders they all say you can even look at the pope yep. uh, john paul ii you can see him say a new world order well thanks for the call uh, matthew and Mark, did you have something? The fact that somebody says a new world order as a catchphrase does not make them a Satanist. It makes them somebody who knows a catchphrase. I would like to see a new world order. Hey, I would like to see a new world order. <laughs> Uh-oh, and Mark. that world order is a world order that's far more peaceful, far less of this believing in the devil crap, too. Good Lord in heaven, this is 2014 and you people believe in demons? Wake up! This is what people in deserted Stone Age, living in Stone Age conditions and deserted islands believe. Uh, I'd like to move past the religiosity myself. But, I mean, d- it makes sense that there are people in positions of power who want to control the world. Uh, it's uh, just how successful are they Well, being? what doesn't make sense, in my opinion, is that there's like this overarching thing. I could, be- I could almost believe that there's multiple groups of people that have different pl- ideas for what they want for a new world order. are fighting against each other for I mean, control of the world? Certainly every religion's pulling this off. You know, just they're out in the open. And so to think that there could be secret ones doing it, of course. But, uh, you know, I don't think that there's just that one, you know. Indeed. Let's go to Daryl in Texas. Hey, Daryl, you're on Free Talk Live. Yes. Um, I also read that article in Slate also about the uh, about the people, 25% of the people wouldn't mind their stakes to seating. Yeah, and um, I do know. I think like it's kind of like what probably what would happen in the former Soviet Union if one decided to leave. It would be almost a domino effect. I if I agree happened. with that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know uh, because I think humans have an incredible capacity to see the truth and to see a better life and completely ignore it. <laughs> I kind of think the red states should create their red state America and the blue states should create their blue state America. I don't know what's going to yeah, happen well, to the 10 states. If we're going to go that way, why don't we just do secession down to the individual level? Well, like, sure. I'm for it. <laughs> I, I mean, but admit it, I'm up for any empire breaking apart in any way that it can, and America is certainly an empire. True. What do you think, Daryl? Um, I think that uh, you know, red state and blue state have not. That would be kind of crazy in a certain <laughs> way, but. Because some states are more purple than, than red or blue. Than yeah, there's about ten of them. So who, Daryl, if you just had to take, take a wild speculation, what do you think would be the most likely state to actually secede? Probably from what I've read, probably Vermont or New Hampshire, uh, Vermont, followed by New maybe Hampshire. Texas. But cool. the problem is some of the people running the state, I live in here in Texas, and a guy I used to work for, um, when I was a Navy recruiter in Longview, my re- recruiter in charge, his brother was in the uh, like the big successionist movement group, one of them, mm-hmm. the like, Republican Texas group or something. And those people really, um, from what I understand, aren't really well respected because one of their leaders was gotten in trouble for like, doing a land gra- trying to do their land grab scheme. And, mm. and I'm sure um, the media tries to smear them. Yeah, and, and Texas really has... Oh, no, this came from the brother who knows these people. People. It's like no, this oh. is one of me. This one, the brother knows these people, and it's like, it's like the guy um, I work for. His brother was telling me that these people are like that specific group. Mm-hmm. You know, at least at that time, like ten years ago, they were pretty. You know, they were. Yeah, they were not back then well respected with the. I mean, people who who had family members. Gotcha, Daryl. Like, thanks, like, thanks for the call tonight. I would love to see New yeah. Hampshire and Vermont secede. That would be really cool. And Texas is the one that kind of has the legal right, quote unquote. Not that I'd pay. They've attention got the to history that. behind them. I mean, yeah, that's... but I think they have it where they can, where they, it's in writing with the, you know, the federal government. We can leave when we want. <laughs> Let's talk to Luke in Iowa. Hey, Luke, you're on Free Talk Live. Uh, hi. Yeah, I was just curious. I've heard you guys uh, endorse uh, open borders before, and I'm trying to wrap my head around it. And I was just oh curious, boy, you uh, brought what, up what a big. What benefit do you see? Uh, you know, with the state of the world today, 
What benefit do you see to open borders? Well, well um, thanks for that question, but I just have to say before we get started, Luke, you brought up a big topic in the last two minutes of the show, so we'll do our best to be succinct, but if we don't answer your question, feel free to call back anytime. We're on six, seven nights a week, yep. 7 Keep to 10 p.m. Eastern time. It, no doubt about it. But, um, yeah, so op- benefits of open borders, Mark. Openborders.org suggests that there will be a doubling of the world's GDP, one-time doubling of the world's GDP by opening the borders, because currently people who are non-productive because they're government Governments won't essentially allow them to be productive, won't give them the means to produ- productivity, um, are uh, unable to work. They can move to areas where they can be productive, and that productivity will enter into the marketplace and benefit everybody. A doubling of the world GDP. That is an incredible offer that is on the table um, for you know people around the world. Yeah, don't forget when people immigrate to an area, they are not just um, making stuff to sell, but they also are consumers. You know, They need food, shelter, all the basic stuff, entertainment. It will also pressure governments around the world to be more liberty-oriented, to respect human freedoms. To treat their freedoms. citizens better. I mean, if you can't leave a marriage, you know, what in, you know, if you can't get away from an abusive spouse, what are you going to do about well, it? But it, if you have the um, freedom to leave, then you're going to get treated better. Yeah, and even the the laws in the books for legally coming in and getting a job are decades old and way behind the times. You have to pretty much, for someone to come and get a legitimate job with, say, a company like Google, say a great programmer from Canada or something, they have to lie about or they have to massage you know, their job title because NAFTA... Uh, doesn't only, include computer it, programs. Yeah, it only has 63 <laughs> jobs on it. It was made like in the 50s and 60s, and none of this stuff exists. So, I mean, the laws themselves that are on the books for legally getting in here are way behind the times to say nothing of open borders. Mm-hmm. So now, but many of the jobs in America are based on our natural resources, our abundant natural resources. Now, wouldn't this include a draining of the natural resources of America? But the natural resources of the United States are being outsourced all the time. I mean, wood's being sent all over the world. Oil's, um, you know, the United States is consuming oil. There's yeah. no doubt about I it. I would but say there's a lot here. of intellectual uh, job creation, you know, computer programming right. and software. You don't own any natural resources other than what's sitting under your plot of land. Um, you know, or, the fact that other people own it, it doesn't, it's irrelevant to you what their citizenship is. Luke, thank you so much for calling. We're out of time for tonight, but please feel welcome to call anytime again so we can talk more about this. It's been me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. Freetalklive.com. See you next time. Are you? Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Tollhouse Morsels, helping you create special moments and memories your family will cherish forever. Visit us at Tollhouse.com. You may bake for birthdays and holidays, but why stop there? Sweeten up the rest of the year by designating monthly dessert days. Treat your family to one of their favorites or surprise them with something new. Either way, you'll create a tradition everyone will love. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone. 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. 